literally just gonna say I'd rather not. Oh find no, out. he's got <laughs> he's got webcam. Wait, does, he have, does he have webcam? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this is a good way to start. This is a good way to start the stream. <laughs> Video chip. Ah, don't look at me. Oh, I, I turned. I turned off. Um, I turned off. Uh, dynamic, dynamic lighting. lighting because it's making everyone lag. Yeah, then, it's, like, it's kind of taxing. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. I really hope nice that they have. The next <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You got that, got that. I really like how you were like you're trying your best to keep to your turn it off. off. I was like, why are my cameras on? Why everybody else is closed? That's not fair. Well, I don't have Oh John, at some at some point in the, uh you talking to them, I need you to say I would like to join you guys or some form of that. Please. Oh, okay. I, I'm gonna do it for a joke. <laughs> Please. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> That's all I need. We got a, one more minute before we start. Okay. With, uh, Andrew, eh? We're waiting for Andrew? He's here. I'm right here. here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, let me tell my camera first. Oh. Oh, okay. Don't no, worry. Uh, Bloody's the one talking inside the chat. He'll, he's the other cleric. Oh, nice unarmored movement. It Ten feet. Again. You did move ten feet with unarmored. I, I get ten more feet of movement. Uh, so we have a seven member group, right? Six. You guys are six players, one DM. Alright. Microphone's all good. All good. Yep. Am I coming through okay? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I have a quick question. I see all the right. map, but the map has been covered by our profiles. How do I... Oh, yours is just black, right? Let me make sure that you can actually control your token. Token and C. Yeah. Oh, uh, do you want me to actually update my current health, or do you want me to keep it at 9? Uh, update oh, your there current it health. Is. <laughs> Wait, what was that? There you go. Can you see your character now, John? Oh. I see him. Okay, yeah, a little bit better, yeah. Cool. Uh, are we all ready? Uh, give me one moment. Uh, okay. Did you want, uh, was it... Did you want me to uh, update my health so that it stays at its current one, or do you want me to update it so that the new health that's on it now? N the new health. New health, okay. Yeah. Everyone took the average? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, whenever you guys are ready, just let me know. I'm gonna switch it to the actual stream. <sighs> yeah, I'm still new to this. But... Oh, don't worry, you guys are fine. You're, you're fine. Varus and Stella are technically are still new. Uh, I am finished. My level up is done. Cool. Clear. All right, we all ready? All set. <laughs> all right. Let's do this. Last oh time on Bad Ventures. The party arrived at Nightstone only to find the town devoid of villagers and overrun by goblins and mysterious boulders. Upon entering the village, the party was attacked by vicious wargs, gravely injuring the wizard Varus. With no other choice, the party took cover in the nearest building, which happened to be the town temple. After disposing of the two goblins in the temple and helping Varus recover, the party decided to explore a town, ridding the town of goblins in their own special way. Interestingly, Within the ruins of the inn, Barnaby and David discovered a cloaked woman writing a letter. After surprising the woman, she reveals her name to be Kella Darkhope, a traveling monk who has, who has been stuck in the town since the rocks fell. The party decided to escort Kella out of the village. After an intimate moment with the monk's stow, Kella accidentally dropped a mysterious note with the words, On our way, with an insignia in the corner. With no other answers, the party left to the final spot they haven't checked, the keep. 
What truths will the party discover? <laughs> Very good. Wonderful. All right, I, I can see how much I kind of have to write for those now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get that actual music on. All right, so when you guys first walked in, uh, you guys discovered the four guards kind of bickering over each other over the body of a dead woman. What do you guys do? I kill them? No, just kidding. Um... <laughs> Ask them what the hell is going on. Yeah. What's going on around here? Oh. Wait, how... Uh, one of the guards walks up. Like, wait, how did you guys get here? We've been stuck here for days. And... Uh, we, we hopped the bridge. I threw them over the bridge. We I built hopped. the bridge. They, they look at you very confused, but it don't matter. They, they see help when they need it. Uh, like Lady Nandar, they, she, she didn't make it. What they, happened to her? When when the rocks fell a couple days ago, we we tried to make it up to her, to where she was at, but we couldn't. We we just didn't make it in time. The the other guards are just a little distraught. One's looking like in the corner, just kind of defeated. You all stare at them blankly. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh my god. Uh, is there anything we can do to help at the moment? Uh, well, seeing how you guys made it here, at, at least we know that there's a way out now, right? Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. Kind of. We could get you back over across the bridge if that's what you mean. Perfect. I'm sure the other villagers and the other guards, they went to the to the nor the caves. I'm pretty sure because they were supposed to make it here, but that rock destroyed the bridge. Right. Can you point out where the, this uh, cave is so we could perhaps lead the villagers back to the plate to the village? Uh, of of course, it's it's somewhat north. Uh, one of the guards is just kind of looking at. I'll hold up like my my map to help point. Okay, so he points uh he he points not too far away from uh from where you guys are at. It's it's about a mile away, not too far of walk. It'd be about give or take a maybe a, at most an hour if you guys are walking slow. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah, David will remember that. David will remember that. <laughs> so. Um, as one of the guards is uh, talking to the other guard, they're just like, "What? What if Lady Lady Kikaru? She's the only other one here. It's like, oh yeah, she's she locked herself up in that room for a while now. Ever since Lady Nandar died, she was one of her closest friends. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> well, we did manage to free her from the building, and she uh, left town. No. Wait. Uh, wait a second. Wasn't you the wait, one there was somebody no, else in town? No, that no, was you're the one else. Oops. I got mixed up. My bad. So, there's a lady that needs to be tended to. Why don't you go find her? Uh, as one of, as the other guard who's actually who's actually a woman is just kind of offended. <laughs> you, guys, you, guys didn't, you guys didn't even ask for their names or anything. They're, they're just like yeah. Uh, that's what that's what I was about to do. I just ask what ask one dead man if I could examine the body. Okay. Um, okay. So while while Motoyas is doing his thing, uh, the guards are just like, as, as as long as you do not desecrate her, I do notice that you do seem to be one of the holy types. If you can please help her, lay to rest. Yeah, I guess that would put us a little bit more at ease, and maybe it might help Lady Kikaru upstairs. I'm not going upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you with that. So Still you should you. totally give her this muffin. I hand Stowe a muffin. 
if you can hear me, eat this muffin. Uh, <laughs> she, her lifeless corpse is kind of <laughs> staring at the muffin, but you can't really tell because her like her eyes are lifeless. This is going downhill very quick. <laughs> the guards are kind of confused. <laughs> this is not what I meant, though. I'm talking about the alive one upstairs. Oh, <laughs> If you can hear me, come down and eat this muffin. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. I'm just the, the, rubbing the, my temple furiously. The castle, well, the fort is kind of pretty large, so your voice kind of carries through the halls, but you don't hear a response. Shall I take the muffin to the lady there you go. I, I give yes. the muffin over to Barnaby. <laughs> While that's going on, I guess I'll ask these guards their names. Okay. So, the first guard who was talking to you guys the whole time, uh, his name is uh, Sidiri. Okay, Sidiri. The other guards that were just kind of hovering over, this one's name is Torum. The one in the far back corner was actually a female. Uh, her name is Alara Winterspell. Okay. Motoyasu, would you like to do a perception check to see how pretty she is? <laughs> It's in, not even in your in your eyes. No, he's in here. My eyes. <laughs> Which one does it? Can I roll? Ten. She's average. Not she's yeah. In, in your in your honest opinion, she's average. But just because I wanted to give her give her this, I was gonna make her that. <laughs> She's just Nephany. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. hmm. I think that's way better than average. <laughs> so so that, was, that was just Nephany. She also talks in a country accent. Nice. All right. Uh, so, so uh, Barnaby, did you want to go upstairs? And <clears throat> willing to upstairs for you? Uh, if, they'll, if they'll let me go upstairs to converse with her, uh, sure. Wait, guys, who's Andrew? Which character was... He's the I'm I am this one right here. I'm the dwarf. Also, John, change your color because you're green. I'm the green one here. Oh, All right. Um. There's also like Cyan to, already taken. I would like to uh, accompany Barnaby. Okay, then you guys can go drag your uh, your tokens to the right. That's the upstairs. Over here. Uh. Uh, Over here. It is like not letting me do that. I don't even see my coat anymore. Oh, there we go. Kind of. No. Your character's over on the right, John. Oh, can't seem to. Oh. It won't. It won't oh, let you. No, it's like the walls actually stop me from dragging it through. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think I think that might. Wait, that's weird. Because I drag I it over Because the dynamics lighting is off, so whatever. Uh, I'll uh. I'll allow. Let me in. Oh. Uh. Wait, no. Still no? I don't. I, my thing's a wall here. Can't. That's great. I, that's great. <laughs> out of bounds. Oh, like, wait. Back here. here. We oh, just no. have to you go have around to, you through have to the push rubble. Push it through this. I think. No, I I'm, didn't, ju I'm I... just gonna drag you guys there <laughs> myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you move out of bounds. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's so weird. I did my backwards long jump and just boosted out of bounds. I'm just gonna roll a d20 secretly. Okay. Just out of curiosity. Uh, okay. Which okay. which room is it? Um, you you notice that all the other rooms seem to be uh open and there's no like force, but there's just one door that's that's closed. Uh, that, that door. One. I see. I'll uh, knock on the door with a. Who may Hello? that be? Hello. Who may that be? An adventure! Go by the name of Barnaby. Barnaby? Who are you? Uh, we had conversed with uh, the guards downstairs. They wanted us to check on you. For what for? Make sure that you were eating and you were doing okay. I know a lot of bad things have happened recently, and uh, as we were told, you weren't taking too well to it. Are you an we... adventurer? Yes. Where are you guys may be going. Ah, oh, shit, where are we going, Forrest? 
We just came here to get, clean out all the monsters that were in the town. I just was didn't think we'd get this far. Right. <laughs> we had cleared out the goblin problem in the town. We got that all sorted out. We were so hoping to find some form of survivors after the rocks and fell. I rushed out of the door, opened the door, slam it. Okay. Can you guys take me with you? I suppose we can, if you're willing I, to come with. I need assistance. I'm looking for a friend I have never seen before. You see, I'm a noble. I ran away from home. And Lady Xander was my... She was special to me. I need guidance. Please take me with you. Well, I promise I'm not useless. I can. I, um, I, mean, I have why not? I have a wagon. I, I have what? What can you me. do in the way of uh, skills? I'll ask. I can heal, and I can give you an aspiration to fight. Well, that works for me. How about you, Vars? I don't see why not. We should at so, least introduce her to the rest of the gang, though, before we. Take me with you. Make it official. Oh, and yeah, also, I was told to give you this muffin for whatever reason. Would oh, you like it? Thank you. But muffins are really for the poor. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put the muffin back in my bag and, uh. Laura's just oh. snickered to himself. <laughs> Let, us... Let us go downstairs. You can meet the rest of my comrades. I promise you, you'll like some of them. <laughs> so <Okay. much. laughs> One of them. All right, so you guys. You'll at least like David. <laughs> we can Wait, give you that. One second, it's white I promise you good people. Wait, one second. Is it white downstairs? Uh, yeah. Please yeah. follow me. I'll lead the way. All right. Okay. I go first. Oh, go first. ahead. I can't drag myself though. Oh, you're yeah, stuck in the yeah. room. <laughs> yeah, stuck in the room. Help! Oh no! Ninja, ninja from behind. <laughs> All right, so you guys gonna, gonna go downstairs? Yeah, yeah, e yeah. Hi, uh, we're back, and uh, we have a new guest in our midst. L Lady Kikaru, you? you're finally you're downstairs. I finally got out of my room. I I see that. Are you okay? I'm okay, but you guards, since Lady Xander is dead. What would you guys do? There's, there's not much else for us to do. She's... Please follow us with Adventure and I. You guys are guards, and I am Lana Xander's friend. I am also a noble. Follow me and protect us, and we, and I can give you any, uh, my parents and I can give you better life. Follow Any us. Point. Follow me and protect I me know. from my goal. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I will say they might do better to serve the townspeople that are still alive after the calamity. Barnaby, please shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I only have to get people in mind. I swear. I have a lot more points. Okay. You will have better life if you serve me. Just as just, just as you follow Lady Alexander, follow me. I will be the new lady. I will be Lady Aqua Kikuo. Follow me. Uh, roll, per, per, roll per Guys, persuasion. I'm, roll I'm gonna persuasion. listen to Morris and just be like, "What in the nine hell did we get ourselves into?" <laughs> I, I have no idea, buddy. But I think we're gonna be regretting this very soon. Go lean in and ask, ask oh, like Barnaby quietly. Who the fuck is this? I have literally no clue. Wait, how do I do it with the persuasion now? Uh, I'll go to your character sheet. Okay, okay. Um, and then My heart. click on uh, persuasion. Yeah, it'll do an automatic roll with whatever modifier you have. Yep. I don't see it, though. Um, oh, well, yep. now it's better. Okay. Yep. Uh, like one of these. Oh, okay, I, I clicked it. Okay. So the so the guards just look at you and they're like, "You have a point, Lady Kikaru." But what did he roll? My our issue is, we still need to make sure that the rest of the guards and the rest of the townsfolk are still okay. Thank you. We can. I only need for you guys, doing. and the rest of the guard can guard the town. Just for you guys, since you we guys don't are know how many of them are still alive. We don't know what's going on. Let's make sure we check on them first. Okay. I, they seem pretty firm on their answer. I agree. Okay. 
I need any help. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, right. Well, uh, I I suppose with that taken care of, uh, shall we move on? Well, yes. Are you guys gonna introduce her, yourselves at all? Oh, I, I did. I know you guys. You you and Varus already did, but it, so far, just I this guess. woman just came downstairs, started ordering the guards. And, you know. <clears throat> I yeah. like her. Yeah, uh, do you guys want to introduce yourselves so at least we're on a name My basis name here? My name is Moriasu Aqua, and I, I like you. you. You have a lot of spunk, girl. Moriasu, you, you're really quite cute, cute as yourself. You should follow me and be... My... My God, forever. Is <laughs> everything wrong with what's happening need, right now? I, I hate everything. Insight. I need insight. <laughs> oh All right, insight versus. Please don't roll low. Yes. Oh my God. You can right. beat that. Can I try Just to persuade? Wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Holy crap. I really want John to have a plus five to charisma and just destroy oh, this roll. He has a plus four. <clears throat> That's not enough, uh, right? How can we results aren't showing up here, though? No, I, I'll change it for him. Okay, I changed it. It was when I was doing his uh, sheet. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, that's why we can't see the rolls. Okay. It's going to John. Ah. You ain't gonna beat my 20. <laughs> don't I don't count it out. I, <laughs> I was about to say I don't think you're yeah, talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tried. What did he get? Fourteen. Yeah, oh, fourteen. You. So, no. So were were you lying? Uh, I don't know about that. This hero's <laughs> got got lots of uh, people to save. I sure do. So, what is your name again? Oh, Aqua Kinkulo. Nice to meet you. Your name is? My name is David Valdir. David Valdir. You're quite <sighs> attractive as well. <laughs> as you stare at the cobalt that's up to your about your knees, to your waist. <laughs> <laughs> but Shall you, we you go can ahead swing that way town. if you want. Aren't you going to introduce yourself, so? Who's He's quite the lady, Hello. man. He is. He really is. He's a little is. quiet, man. The strongest. Hey, my name Sorry. is Stu. Nice to meet you. You're kind of boring, but okay. Oh, no! <laughs> wow! wow. wow. I can show you who's the better priest. I can oh, tell you who's the better priest. I'm a better priest. <laughs> <laughs> You're both clerics of uh, different divinations. Yes. Oh, I know Stowe's not going to help you in your time of need. <laughs> That's for sure. You're not making many friends here, I'll be saying that much. In my oh, brutally honest opinion. <gasps> Me? <laughs> well, I believe it is our time. Let us yes. get out of get here. Get on the move. Do you have any more wooden planks? Uh, not really. You might be able to scavenge from from... The rocks. Are you sure you guys don't want to ask any more questions? Well, I suppose well, the first order of business would be getting back to the other people. Yeah, that's oh. true. We uh, should find I, out do... those are. I was gonna say. Do you know why the rocks fell down on your town? It, it just suddenly happened one night. The rocks came from the sky. We saw a giant castle in the sky. And rocks just fell from it. We all we tried to escape. Everyone tried to escape, and get get back to the town, but we all couldn't make it. Does my uh my knowledge of flying castles throughout history <laughs> does it like uh does that zero. seem like something of like magical sorts <laughs> or like um not not natural magic uh if it, just if I know what kind of magic. Um. You know it's you know it's a magical source. You're suspecting it might be from a cloud giant, right? Cloud giants um, can make. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll my ar arcana yes. as well, uh, mm -hmm. just to see what I think of it. Yeah. <laughs> God you, damn it. Yeah, you you pretty I had a much minus two and I still did same. better. <laughs> yeah. You, you pretty much kind of know the same. Um, so with the guard, they turn on you and they're like, "Yes," and while. 
While the castle flew over, they plucked the night stone straight from the middle of the courtyard. The night stone? It's it's what our town is named after, the night stone. Right. It's some form of magical stone that's been here for centuries. Do you know, know anything about the type of magic that's involved with it? Honestly, I have no clue. Hmm. Mm. Oh, the other guards just kind of look at each other and they shrug. Is there a... Would there be a leader of some sort down with the, the villagers in the caves that we could perhaps uh, signal out? Uh, not not in particular. All of uh, all of the lieutenants and everything passed wild with the rocks. Right. Who's ever left? We don't, we don't really know. We've been stuck here. Right. Okay. Well, I start scavenging for more wood. I will assist Mokoyatsu in that endeavor. Okay. In this case, I guess we can take our leave once we scatter, uh, not scatter, but gather enough wood okay. to finish rebuilding the bridge. Understandable. We'll, we'll help out. Um, the only thing is, uh, if you guys do end up going back upstairs, please. There is a chest upstairs, but do not touch it. That's Lady Nantar's. Lady Kiko? You, you had to you mention that. <laughs> I hope you haven't been messing with that. Me. Oh no. But do you think Lady Xander possession should be mine? I should, you know, inherit it. Do you think? Varys you... leans over to Barnaby and whispers. I think they just made a very big mistake bringing that up. <laughs> I, as long as no one does anything stupid, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> let me let me, let me correct that phrase. As long as none of us in the immediate party does anything stupid, we'll be okay. Should I try All to right. persuade the guys? I am <laughs> so that I'm not evil. La lady, lady Kikuru, you you know that we don't have any authority over that, though. I guess no one really has the authority of Nightstone anymore now that Lady Nandar's gone. And the stone. Well, Nightstone could be my town. It could be belong to my family, <laughs> the Kikwu family. But I begin rubbing my temple furiously and just sigh. But, la but Lady Kikwu, I, I thought you, I thought you escaped from your family. Why? What do you mean? My family. Hey, how do you know that? Because <laughs> we've, we've been housing you for the last couple of days. I don't remember calling, I think, any rumor about my personal be my personal life. Uh, the the guard is kind of like shifting his eyes because no no other guard actually knew that except for this one. Fantastic. Well, you say I may not be with my family now. We may have been, you know, through tough times. But I will rule my family and rule over the world like much as, as much as I can. They, but you they, need to help me. As soon as you say rule over the world, they were just kind of like... No, 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 no not rule of the world. <laughs> just rule the night zone. <laughs> they, they, they all, they oh, all, like, they all just like tilt their heads in confusion. <laughs> so we're building a plan to ditch this lady, huh? <laughs> I like whisper that to Barnaby. Uh, hey. uh, well, I mean, if we really think about it, if we really put our heads together for this one... I think she'll be useful eventually. I have I heard that. that. <laughs> Do you? I can hear you know. And I know by looking at this priest, he well, doesn't heal. Per All right. Based on my experience. All right. Uh, uh, John, do, do a uh, perception roll. See if you heard the whispering. Okay, sure. Yeah, if you're going to Yeah, you, you, oh, you no. heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Look, I'll, I'll come clean oh, with you, Lady Kikaru. Oh, shit, heard you. It just, it seems you don't have best interests in mind other than your own, and it's, uh... We have conflicting interests. It's a little yeah. jarring, if I'm being honest. Oh. Uh, Barnaby, are, are you guys, sure you're not being no persuaded goblin. by David? You should have a control of your life, you know. Do I'm pretty you sure our interests align. I do. I, as a matter of fact, ran a shop for quite some time. I helped out a great many people. My I helped out time... many times as well. Same thing. Would you like your good deeds to be known by the whole world? 
I don't need to be world famous to be a good person. You don't have to be world famous to be a good person. But you can be honored and you can have great rewards. People will have better respect. Better respect. No. I'm going to be completely... No, no, no. The reward it, is no, doing... I don't wish to be the tools of any ones. Vera oh. steps in here and goes, if I could be completely honest, I don't think we'd want people to remember us for being jerks. Jerks? Fair point. What do you that too. Mean? What do you guys mean? <laughs> yeah, it's... Your intentions so you're... far have been kind of... Impure. Not... Yes. I'll say cloudy at best. Please explain yeah. more. Well, it just seems like you are looking out for number one here. And I understand you want to take care of yourself, and that is perfectly fine and acceptable. You live your life as we live ours. However, in this particular instance, it seems like you're taking advantage of a crippled person. Or crippled people, I should say, and an entirely crippled society destroyed by rocks no less than three days ago. Just no. seems like you're getting a little advantageous here, if I may be so bold. No, not at all. You're all. trying... To, you just tried to take over when they just recently lost their leader. <laughs> not to mention inheriting the things of our own private processions as well. It just seems a little... Uh, distasteful if I again as I would put it so bluntly no these guys <laughs> can show you how the Henry should be belong but the Lady, Lady Xander and but they, Lady what Lady it, okay. they, they, they kind of have a point Lady Kikaru I understand you are a noble guest but uh, if it's to my authority I that's that's all you really are here is a noble guest guest but the, the tip the problem is i never force you guys to do anything i'm just trying to persuade you guys to what can you do good for our lady zenders oh, remaining saying that you can't just say no well you can would... deny not follow me but would you want a better life to better have a better use for lady xander do I'd... you want her to make her proud i I'd, I'd rather just help rebuild the town if anything the no, other you guards, can be, the other no, guards you can are just kind of town. agreeing. Of course you can rebuild the town. The people needs to be helped. Well, if I'm if I'm going to rule this city, people should be they, they, they be kind of well like good. they kind of like scratch their head whenever you say rule their city. <laughs> um hey, Lady Kikaru, could you please elaborate on ruling the city? I I just I'm curious at this point. If I ever get the chance to, but I don't have the authority to actually rule the city. Okay, but why why rule the city? Like that that is my question, I suppose. Hmm. It well it could be belong to the Kikua family. The Kikua family is really well known. So Well according to that one god in particular, um doesn't seem like you have the best relationship with uh, the Kikaru family, eh? Who? I'd never heard about this. The other Please the decide. other guard the guard that you guys were talking about is whistling. <laughs> just kind of give him like a side eye for a moment. Like, did you just set me up for this? <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's kind of. Tw he's actually going a little bit farther back, pretending that he's checking on a lady, uh, <laughs> Lady Nandor's body. Like, hey, how <laughs> are you doing over here? Oh gosh. Um, the point is, I think that if you were to come with us, you wouldn't need to rule the city, so to speak. No, I don't need to. I'm looking for- I have another goal that I need to find first, and that's my friend. I would also like to say, not really a city to rule if there isn't one. I mean, there isn't really one right now, until they rebuild, so you wouldn't really rule anything. Not to mention, we don't even know how many people are left behind, and how many more are probably dead by this point. Honestly, we should just hurry up and go save them, if anything. Yeah, time yeah. is wasting. Yeah. Why I are think we still David here? Is wasting our time. The, the only, the only uh, <laughs> thing that you guys are remembering is that it's it's pretty late at night right now. Let's go. Uh, we should. Oh, probably... I like the burning. Yeah. How much wood did I get during all this? Uh, during this whole conversation, you were able to pillage at least one enough for a, one more long, uh, long piece of wood. That's it. That's it. This this conversation's <laughs> only been like maybe like five ten minutes oh yeah true uh well um, any rate what let's do you say our... the rest of us try to stock up on whatever what we can find and see what we can make well i should probably also 
to figure out where we're gonna camp out for the night too. It's getting pretty late. Yeah. Oh, the guard. The guard step up. It's like <clears throat> here. There. I mean, you guys can still stay here. We have enough rations for at least another day. You save these rations for yourself. And for the townspeople as well. You're gonna need them. Yeah, we need you guys at your full strength. We're gonna save if we're gonna help you guys if you guys are gonna be able to rebuild your town. That's true. And they they so at this point they're letting you know about all the different rooms in the uh in the keep. Okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so, I just like the it. entire time we're talking. I just see Moto's icon just moving around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just not saying a thing. At any rate, so we're gonna we'll we'll yeah. stay here for the night. We'll eat our own rations. But I want you folks to keep an eye uh, to lift up the gates when we leave, and just keep an eye out for us. That's understandable. Uh, as long Fortify as what you can, clear yeah. out anything <sighs> remaining of the old and oh my God. dead. Anything All that'll right. make moving around easier. Yeah. yeah. So, with the with the rooms, um, I guess you guys can stay in the study. Like, there's not really much use oh, for it I'm anymore. In. Right. The study is two stories. Um, if you go up, there's the. Uh, another couch upstairs with a bunch of books if any of you are interested some of them are probably scrawled throughout the floor through the rocks but that's one of the only rooms that are really intact along with uh with lady nandar's room i guess i i guess it's all right if you guys stay there i mean lady kikaru has made it her home for the past couple of days so mm -hmm. if it's really up to her but wait a minute you told her not to touch the things in the room that she was in for the last couple yeah. of days well, yeah. not not to touch the chest specifically. Yeah. Um, if that's the case, then I'd like to go check out the books. Okay, I might find something useful there. All right. Same. I'll take my rest in one of the chairs in the uh, thing before give before I leave. Though I'd like to salute the uh, the the uh, guards. Uh, I would also like to go to the study with Varus. Okay. Get me out. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah, they they salute back and they and they are all tending to uh, Lady Nandar's corpse. Okay. Um. So, do you do you want us to roll for what we see here among all these books, or? Uh, no. Just um. You guys, you guys are you guys are hanging out, out enough long. Yeah, you guys are hanging out in there long enough for you guys to realize what's going on. Um, inside the, uh, inside there's not really too many, like, interesting books. It's all, like, the regular books you'd probably see at any kind of, a library. So nothing too interesting. Uh, the okay. only one that you kind of, uh, that you kind of have an eye on is the one that actually talks about the Nandars. So, oh. uh, would you like to read that one? Yes, I would. So you, inside that, let me... Let me actually just give you a handout, because I forgot I could do that. Sure. Let me out! <laughs> we just can't. I'm just imagining like we're all in different sections and we can all still hear Moto just, let me out! Yeah. <laughs> he's getting trapped in things. It's, it's like the cat, we like let him into the room, and right. he's like, no, I want never, out. Never no, I want out. out. <laughs> no, never mind about that handout, because it's not working for me, so I'll just read it for you. Okay. So, um, with the beauty of the Ardeep Forest and the mystique of its elven ruins have long attracted nobles from the Waterdeep. The nobles of House Nandar had a hunting lodge in the forest two centuries ago, but elves forced them to abandon it. <coughs> Ten years ago, members of House Nandar, Lord Dreslin Nandar and Lady Volrosa, Volrosa Nandar, whose corpse is downstairs, decided it was time to return. They built a new mot and Bailey settlement in the south of our deep forest and began making forays into the woods with friends to hunt and explore unknown to the nandars wood elves from the evermeet then settled in the uh, forest determined to protect the remnants of old elf empires from plunder and desecration as in the past the interests of the elves and nandars were all across in purpose a year ago the conflict came to a head and the elves attacked nightstone dreslin the husband 
was among the many of slain and shot and killed with elf arrows while standing on the roof of his keep. His widow, uh, Lady Voros Anandar, made peace with the elves and promised to make no further incursion in the Ardy Forest, a promise she kept for the rest of her life. Oh wow, interesting. So hmm. perhaps, perhaps with this information we could use this. Sure. Yeah. Um, as a note, uh, you can keep the book, uh, The Nandars of Nightstone. Yeah, sure. Let me add that to my character sheet. Real quick. Sorry, what was it called? The Nandars, Nandars of, of Nightstone. Nightstone. What's everyone else doing? I'm still gathering wood until the <coughs> until I have to go to sleep. I was yeah, reading the book All right. Um, what you guys uh <clears throat> hanging out? Um, you guys gathered enough wood to actually just make a stable bridge. Uh, oh no! Wait. Oh, but it's I was gonna do one last thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I was gonna ask the guards and see if there's anything that I could do to help specifically. Uh, uh, for tonight. I guess not really. We were all about to head to bed before you guys came here. We were just okay. trying to make sure that lady's, the lady's body is still within rest. Just trying to do my part. Okay. Alright. It's been about two hours. I'm going to sleep. Sleep. Okay. Sleeping time. You guys finally realize you guys can go to sleep. <laughs> so it's been about two and a half hours. Um, enter a short rest, please. Short rest. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm just going to get the last of my health fixed. Help me out. <gasps> I'm free. Oof. Oof. Well... Oh, wait, no, I get all my health back. Yep. Because plus con. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Alright. So, mm, okay. while you guys were trying to rest tonight, all you hear from the outside is powerful hooves. <clears throat> that far? Yeah. The nine hell of that. You can hear that it sounds like a bunch of horses. Can we see out any windows and you guys remember that there is an upstairs and the, yeah there the Bailey the Bailey is open and you can you can kind of get a good view I'd go upstairs and take a peek out the window yeah same here okay tell me what's up okay. I'll show you guys right here oh yeah look like to scroll down you guys remember the town enough to where... Oh, wait a minute. It's that one lady. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, See, he... I told you she was fine. She brought reinforcements for us. I hope she doesn't intend to um, kill us. Yeah, so you, so you guys, uh, you guys remember the town enough to where it should be like a big bother for you guys to know how to walk around it. Um, but from the distance, you guys just know, you can't really tell that it's Kella, but well, you can kind of tell by the shape and her robe, and there's just seven other um, people with her, and it has a. Uh, they're all on top of horses. One of them looks like he's the leader. Are they armed? They are very armed to the teeth. Would it, uh, any of you guys do a perception roll for me? Yes. Yeah. Do you want oh boy, I can't wait to see all the stuff. Let's see here. Bam. Perception. Oh damn. There's the mine. Person. You turn that off. So we got a 15, an 18, and a 14 so far. I have a 20, accidentally had it on uh, GM. Ah. Yeah. So a 20, a 17, and... John? Your turn, John. No. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you guys see it well enough. Yeah, I think so. I don't... Here. And I'm uh, not seeing it. You guys... You guys oh. notice that uh, this symbol right there? I fucking knew it. The Zentarum. Oh, boy. 
So that symbol was actually on the corner of that note that you guys saw. Looks edgy. Yeah, I still have the note in my pocket. I knew I had a bad feeling about this. <sighs> Question is, what does this mean for us now and for whoever's left? The Zentarum are basically a black ops mercenary group, basically. Mostly mm -hmm. in the interest of working for coin. No job is too dirty for them. Oh. The question then re remains, why are they back here when there was nothing left? That's a good question. For all we know, they're trying to, they could take over the town and serve it for their own purposes. I mean, they would still have to rebuild. It just seems almost foolish to come back here looking like that. It seems like they may have um, <clears throat> other intentions in mind. Yeah. While you guys were um, talking about it, you noticed uh, you kind of noticed the head Zulkin, the, the head guy. He yells at one of the uh, other bandits or one of the other Zentrum, and he's like, points towards the bridge. And you notice that they actually pull the drawbridge up. Oh, good. Uh oh. We're trapped. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is about to go south very quickly. Well, chances are they probably won't be able to get in here then, if that's the case. However, we're stuck here now. And the thing is, is that we don't have enough rations to just wait till they're gone. Well, we could always talk to them. You guys seem to like to do that. <laughs> I'm just, like, casually mapping out how far they are from from here while I, like, ready my crossbow. Yeah, they're, they're a good several feet away. If you if you ever try to shoot him with an arrow, you it, it would be chances like zero just because of the wind. So these are just windy. So these are just black mercenaries. So now violence is the answer. I'm saying basically these are black market mercenaries. They're they're like a series of merchants. Well, that, whose sole interest is just making money. I suppose. What if we offered them some money to get the hell out of here? Not an option, I'm pretty sure. They are thinking the long term for this one. Fair. They prefer investments over right quick cash. I, yeah. I suppose the only thing now would be to, well, see why they're here and hope to God they're not here for us. Can I go talk to them? I. <laughs> you know I what? If you're if you're you didn't. Didn't. You know what? I'm pretty sure it would not be a good idea to go down there. I think. I should give myself as hostage, and you I... guys know why you guys escape. <laughs> you're gonna, oh you're, you're gonna make yourself a hostage. <laughs> yes. If they have me, my family will pay them great hands of uh, Look, huh. money. L Lady Kikaru, <laughs> there, there is no guarantee that they won't just kill you anyway. That's okay. If I die early. What? Uh, what happened to your grand plan and all that? <laughs> Are you gonna let them this, take your city, Lady Kikuru? Think is about for it. For the people of this town and for the guards and um, for Lady Danus proper. You guys, I would do forgot that there was even guards here. They're still asleep. I do I go downstairs and tell them we're fucked. No, all you guys you, will escape. I have... will go there by myself. I will talk to them. Uh, um, I, Motoyasu, I still... you happen to wake up the, uh, the decent-looking one. The only one. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all mean? Wait, what? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we have a problem as I start loading my heavy crossbow. There's some yeah. shady mercenaries outside the tower. Which, Merc by the way, a person Mercenaries? She starts quivering a little. It's yeah. about seven hours. We're not sure exactly what they want, but we're hoping we can find out without any bloodshed. Uh, she's waking up the other. Like. She's waking up the other guards. Um, they're like, "What? Did they have anything on their any kind of insignia?" Centaurum. Yep. Cent no. I'm, I don't know if we can handle. Look, stand by for now. We're gonna figure this out. If things is come it... to the worse, well, you know what? I think is we should have to go talk to them. He has the best standing here. <laughs> I should go talk to them. No, Stowe. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. Is their son still out? The son? 
Isn't it like dawn now? Or... Yeah, it, it's it's like dawn. Would that count against my sunlight sensitivity? Um, Almost. with the light peering over towards the uh, towards the west, uh, yes, but there is like little globs of shadow you can still see All a right. little bit better in. Well, the thing is, if they're in the su sunlight, then it's bad for me. Yeah, so oh, they're they're yeah. still they're still directly in the sunlight, except for some of them that are kind of like next to next to a boulder. <laughs> All right. Well, I suppose it's. We're just gonna have to go down there and see what happens. Yep. Yeah, seems like it's a do or die type of thing. All right. I'll have you guys know I'll be a hundred feet away. That's fine. I, just be I'm ready gonna... to fire in case things can go I down. Can I interject? Can I? Can I? Can it just really just be me? Yeah, if you want. You want to? If you want to, go down there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, if you want, I will go highly it. advise against it. But, but you, you can totally do that. I mean, is there any way to escape from the tower, like swim or get out of there? You could take with swim the rest of the. You can run, the, but they're the on horses. Here. Hmm. I don't think you can outrun a horse. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Like, what can I do you to can. persuade them to not to convince them that like no one's in the tower beside me and some few guards? I don't know. Oh, uh, you're trying to do like a surprise kind of attack, Dick. But can we actually fight them? Yeah. Yes, yes we, we can, but we probably, we're probably kill not want to. <laughs> we keep telling you they're gonna kill us, so of course we're gonna fight them. It's a question of whether or not they're here for us. That's the first thing we gotta figure out. Yep. What? What if I, I think they're here give for you a so signal? He had the kiss of death. Can I give a signal that I, if something goes wrong, that it's a it's like a do or die situation? Well, there's no, no telling whether or not we'll win the fight, and I would rather avoid the bloodshed if possible. Yeah. We don't For all even we know, know if they're they planning to just, kill someone. Just immediately attack someone who shows up. Exactly. I'm getting mixed feelings around here. Everyone's like, I want to talk to them, but they're all ready to kill. Yeah, oh, you, ready. Can't, you can't actually <laughs> tell if they're the only ready. one who's preparing his bow. <laughs> you can't actually really tell if they're ready to kill. They just came in. And they're not really. They notice that there's like no more goblins or anything. So they're kind of on the ready, but they're not like. They they don't have like swords pulled out ready to like. Lop people's heads off, like. My my guess is that they're inspecting the area. Yeah, yeah. Essentially, I'll I'll go down there and I'll have a word with them. Okay. I'll follow along. I'm going down there okay. too. All right. So drag your characters <laughs> there. I'm going down there. Oh. I'm going over here. <laughs> I was going to say I think. <laughs> Hopefully, there's a vantage point that I could use from this uh, spot. I tell the country part? girl to stay inside. I got this. The country girl kind of blushes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he's keep, somewhat making progress. <laughs> keep her head down. <laughs> All right. Oh no! <laughs> he went into the water. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, okay. Guess I'm moving here. Got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if you guys can make it over the bridge or not. Well, it's, <laughs> no, I we actually could. have enough range to, to actually fight from this. <laughs> Uh, uh, I told yes. you, I'd be a hundred feet away. <laughs> yes, you, got, you are actually, that is actually a watchtower. That is actually a watchtower? Yes, it is a, actually a watchtower. So I will let you do that if you want. Mm. You could actually shoot even further from there. And actually uh, being inside would the watchtower. Would you actually tower, say that I could, I could shoot further? Um, You could shoot Because it's just, the... just it within my range. Yeah, well, you're elevated. And I'd be able to actually hit the backside. You okay for how you are, and then with the with the light kind of blaring, you can shoot about to where the hole is. The okay. hole is okay. <clears throat> you guys. So your let me ask for your for uh, your light sensitivity. Is it like any target that's inside light. the sunlight is hard but for I you get to it. hit? So that that would give me disadvantage. But right. okay, if anyone is within melee. Like threaten range, aka five feet. I get advantage, which will cancel each other out. Okay. Oh, God. This yeah. is the reason why I like nighttime operations. Yeah, it, for Wait. me, I was just like, I didn't understand if it was like a thing where like if you're in the sunlight, then that's an issue. But if you're like in like shade, then you're fine. And no, nah, it's, it's it's as long it's, as an it's enemy is on in the sunlight. Enemy is in sunlight. Think, think like you're in a cave and then 
uh, you're looking outside towards, like, a, a plane, let's say, and he's in right. the sunlight, it would be blinding to look out. Right, I, I get what you're saying. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna kind of step forward. All right. Readying a shot. I'm hiding behind this hey, boulder. John. You're I'm hiding going... behind the boulder. <laughs> John, in the tower, there's only four guards. And just me. And a dead body. No, yes. you're you're outside. You're outside. No, 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 I mean, there's only like four guards total in that tower. Yes. And Josh. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I... Wait, where's Josh? In the tower. Yeah. He's in the I'm covering tower. you. I'm right I, I give, a, give a wave. I don't see his um. Well, okay, so so is that how you guys want to be positioned? I'm right Wait, here, I... John. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I see you. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, he's. I'm going he's to like... just. But, but if things go end up really badly, does Josh and the guards have enough time to, to escape? We They're don't... stuck. We're no stuck. One can get out. We're on an island. We are stuck with on an island exit. surrounded by water with a drawbridge up. There's nowhere to go. Yeah, we're literally stuck in here until no we figure how out hard how you to try, solve the You're problem. gonna have to fight or die, either or. How about the two drawbridges at the very at the side of the? They're closed. They're, They're closed. closed. Yeah, closed. they closed it themselves. Oh, yeah, gosh. the the bridge to the island is broken, and we have to build a bridge for people to get across it. I'm very thankful you did not actually like fully build a bridge. Oh yeah, I am too. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. Oh good, let's go. Right. Um, but yeah, for this whole situation, I'm I'm gonna keep uh, a, a steady distance behind uh, Barnaby and So. Just, just remember your max, your max range. <laughs> yeah, just uh... your max range. <laughs> I'm right behind them. That's it. Am I? <laughs> Am hey, I really? you, don't, you don't know if this will turn into a fight or not. Yeah, let's we'll see I, how it goes. I call, I call out to them. Hello. <clears throat> what brings you guys back to the town? They they turn to you and they're they're like, "What? I can't hear you." Oh, sorry. Let me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, As what's you the... were saying, the one on the front of you with on the horse. What, uh, what brings that you to the town? <laughs> hmm. Well, from what it looks like, it's uh, free real estate, isn't it, Kella? Screw <laughs> 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 <Are> you! Free real estate! So, um, Kella, Kella kind of snickers a bit. She's like, ah, the fabled hero. Where are the others? Uh, they're around. <laughs> uh, she kind of whispers to Zulkin, do you want to do a perception check to see if you can hear what she says? Yeah. I'd like to do a perception check. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you do it at like negative 15 disadvantage. Negative 15 disadvantage? <laughs> I'd get a 5 at max. Alright, average. Uh, you can kind of whisper her. You can kind of hear what she says. She's not too well, but she's like, she just mentions the other party members, but you can't say what she said other than that. Planning. She can't tell what she's doing. Basically, you could tell that she mentions the rest of your party. Mm -hmm. Why don't you uh, show your face, though? You're hot, apparently. <laughs> Mostly, we were just passing through at this point. There wasn't much else left here, really. Hmm. John. <laughs> oh, sorry, I... Girlfriend distracted me. <laughs> but, alright. So, uh, it's kind of interesting that you'd be uh, passing through uh, this kind of town. Kind of well, course. I mean, we, we came to do, we came to clear out the goblins. That was all we had to do, and the goblins are gone, so. Yes, and we thank you for that. We don't have You're to welcome. get our swords That's bloodied. Not... Of course. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> they're moving. <laughs> so they're they're kind of they're kind of interested. They're they're coming a little bit closer. So, I'm readying my spear because this looks. I, I, I don't suppose to leave though. Yes. Uh, I don't feel like we have too much more business here together, right? I mean, you guys are such mighty adventurers. You might be useful. I know we're a fine pair of capable hands for sure, but um. 
what did you have in mind exactly, if you don't mind my asking? Uh, hmm. I might have a couple jobs for some adventures that want some coin. Uh, um, <clears throat> jobs of what variety? Um, depends. Depends on what you're thinking on variety. Shit, I realize I didn't, I didn't set up any signal. I, I suppose. <laughs> <it would be. laughs> uh, are you good? Um, so, uh, I would like, uh, Josh, you, uh, if they ever make any kind of movement, I'll let you know just in general. That, that seems kind of iffy for you, but you got to decide if you want to pull the trigger or not. All right. Cause, oh uh, my God. I, as soon as it no. starts like getting like south, I, I have my like bow prep. So my, it's my reaction to, yep, to fire. Yep, 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 yep. So, um, yeah, I don't have dare. My on my spear and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> reaction <laughs> on your spear all the way over there. Nice. You can move up. Okay. There. I know we're good at dispatching rabble, but killing isn't exactly the thing we enjoy. Uh, I wouldn't know this say killing. Uh, I mean, I do kind of miss the villagers here. Uh oh. I'm assuming you want us to retrieve them, yes? Uh. Do you happen to know where they are? Not exactly. It's been quite a mystery, honestly, with mm. the rocks and everything. Yeah, I see you guys. I see that you did come from that fort. Is it? Do you guys find anything useful in there? Not really. Just a bunch of rocks, honestly. Most of everything in there has been crushed. Mm. Uh, roller per like uh, not persuasion. Uh, deception. Deception. Oh boy. Ooh, oh boy. Dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Fingers oh, crossed. Good luck. Ah, oh. no. They don't believe you. Yeah, but how would they know? That? They, they can just tell by your intonation that you weren't being super sincere. And they're, I'll let you know that they're pretty witty. Okay, well then, um, oh, we did find bodies, if that's more what you were looking for. The bodies? Hmm. There yeah. were some that didn't make it within the tower after the rocks fell from what we can find. We, we can kind of tell. There is a lot of rocks here with dead bodies under <laughs> But I guess it makes sense if there is some over there. Was there any valuables? Doing? No, not really. It was wood and stone. Mostly nothing that we really... Nothing that hadn't already been probably looted by the goblins by this point. Hmm. That's fine. Alright, then I guess... If you guys do want to do that job for us... Uh, I wouldn't mind talking to the rest of your companions. Well, let us let us converse then. I'll uh, turn around and kind of motion towards the group over. I'm not moving. <laughs> well, I, I'll I, walk up to the I, group and just say in the general of <clears throat> seems like we might uh, they have a job for us. So, uh, I say we at least hear them out. I, at this point, I would agree with you. Wait, what kind of job? <clears throat> they, they haven't said yet, but we're... I, need I think, to like I said, we're just gonna hear them out first. Alright. Sure. So, you guys step get... forward again. Alright, I'm gonna... Kella notices Stone. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of, like, eyeballing him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for me. I am that eye candy. <laughs> she she kind of swoons a, a, a tiny bit, but not Ooh. enough to. And Zolkin, uh, the uh, the actual guy that's been leading everyone, seems a little bit angry at that. <laughs> you stealing? You macking on his girl, boy? <laughs> so you might want to actually back away just a little bit. He's like, oh. No. <laughs> Uh, Kella, Kella exclaimed, "Where's that blonde guy in the uh, in the cobalt?" <laughs> oh, we're asleep in the castle. <laughs> Wait, is that Dave? Is that David? Um, am I? The cobalt is still sleeping, as far as I was aware. But oh, Motoyasu. Yeah, you wouldn't mind if our uh, guys check over towards that direction, would you? They start signaling them through. Uh oh. I mean, <laughs> suppose I don't see, um, why not? 
All right. But I uh, will say. Can I slowly walk away. <laughs> up here. Uh, they, so, so they so they know they notice the new girl. Uh, Kella's just like. Who? Oh, who's that? I thought you said I don't know, some, that there some was crazy no... chick we found, I guess. But I thought you said that there was no one in that fort. Yeah, we didn't find her in the fort. Whoa, Wait, that's surprising because just... I I did scour this place, and I did not see any trace of her. The only place I didn't get to check was that fort. Well, she showed up later, as far as I was aware. I really don't know anything about her. Yeah, she came in through the drawbridge that you guys had raised. Uh, roll deception. No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do it again. Let's see if I can't. Watch <laughs> <laughs> They they seriously do not believe you. So, uh, oh. hmm. So if you were hiding that from us, maybe there's something else in there, huh? They she orders uh one more one more guard to come follow the other two, or the other three. <laughs> Press X. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know what All right, do. they're getting closer. I'm firing. Okay. Wait. No way! I'm firing. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna fire while we're in the. <laughs> we're gonna get surrounded. We're being surrounded. <laughs> hey, David, which one are you shooting? David, which uh, one are you shooting? shooting? And will everyone roll for well, initiative. Okay, hold up. You moved I, away. My spear is ready, so but I, I, I wanted to shoot the one regardless. that was the closest. Okay, so you're gonna shoot the one that's closest. Yeah. Okay. And, so advantage, uh, you, you, disadvantage, you... so roll normally. Yep. And then boom! Oh, oh my man. god! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, you rolled max damage. Yeah. So, um, that that bandit's dead. <laughs> Just shot straight off his horse. Yeah, he he he's dead straight off of his horse. Does uh? Stop, stop moving your token, John. Does Nephany, uh, notice? <laughs> the other the other guards are kind of downstairs. They don't know what, anything that's going on. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of sigh and <clears throat> look. We just wanted to leave, and you know, here we are. Roll for okay, so am I next to the? Yes, you are yeah. next for them. Can I scream? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you can scream. Okay. Oh, like, guys! You want your people are dead? Help! Oh, right. I don't I know what to do. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> well, I was gonna. Please. I was gonna say, what if he? <laughs> I was gonna say, what if he had screamed? And rolled in an attempt to throw them off guard. <laughs> yes. Like that would have been hilarious. In, can I scream and run towards the main group, the boss? Well, whatever. when your turn comes, initiative. You have to roll for initiative now. How yeah. do I do that? Click on your uh, your token and then click initiative in your uh, in your character sheet. Yeah. Oh, huh? what do you mean? With initiative that? on like your, your token on on the little map thing, and then you then you click initiative and. In your character sheet. Yeah. Oh. Pull up your character sheet and write oh, in between it's, armor it's, class. Yeah, don't click your token. I, I don't know why you said you click your token. Well, oh, it's for the turn order thing. Yeah, I see so the you can add sheet. turn order. Initiative. What is that? It's the word initiative. You just click that. It's is between it... your armor and speed. Oh, okay. Okay. So can I, what? Scream so and you're third scream for help. No, right. not yet. Not, not <laughs> yet. Okay. I'm rolling okay. for every. I'm rolling for the other people's initiative. Give me oh, a sec. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, so for the sake of this, Doc, you do move ahead of me. Wait, I move ahead of you? Yeah, you have uh, plus four initiative. I have plus uh, two. Oh, okay. Uh, so whoever's the higher higher dex mod <clears throat> in that instance. I get to throw my spear, right? Because I was ready behind this yes, uh, boulder. Yes, Got it. Okay. <laughs> Just try not to stab yourself this time. <laughs> yeah, I have advantage. I would have to roll a double one. Thank you very much. For the case of uh, initiative oh on one. on our side, does the horseman have better advantage? Or better dex, per se? Uh, not at the oh, moment. Because there's three better. people have... Like no, there's like fucking four people that have twelve. Yeah, it's based on Dex mod. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. No, I, I put down all their. I'll put down their uh, initiatives and stuff. Okay. 
Um, just make sure you put it in the turn order so we can just get that set up real quick. Four okay. four four. I didn't think you guys would do this. It's gonna be funny. I didn't want to, but they. Um, we... I felt threatened that they're coming. I can't <laughs> tell. I didn't have any idea what was yeah, going on it, over there. It is true. He had, you guys didn't set up yeah. anything. Nope. Whoa, I just but... saw an arrow go down. I'm like, well, I guess we're doing this. All I could see is that um, Barnaby was trying to like slow them down or like try and talk them out of it. Mm -hmm. I, I was I was gonna ask like. And as soon as they're getting closer to me, I find that as a threat, and I fired. Yep. All right. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, I still I need guess uh, what... David Moteasu's uh, turn order. I put mine in there. It says 15. On my end, yeah. it doesn't say. It. Uh, what's yours, uh, David? 12. 12. With a plus 4 modifier, so. So, 16? No, no 12. No. Oh, That's with okay. the... Okay, okay, okay. Because if you have the same number, we'll... yeah. I should be before Barnaby, though. Okay. Yeah. Uh... Alright. So, let's, let's get the that good old battle music. Before the before the fight starts, you notice um, Zolkin notices the uh, the guard that's uh, got down by a single arrow, and he f start, shouts "Attack!" as he drinks his uh, some kind of substance. You can't really tell. Ah crap! <laughs> I threw my oh boy. this one. All right, Snow, it's your go first. John, my my ready spear. Oh yeah, you're ready spear. Fucking hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you uh, attacking? You um, I ready. Uh, uh, Let's see. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I have like 500 like things open. Oh wow, you you, you also kill him out, right? <laughs> so, Goodbye. Get him out of the way. <laughs> One spear and one arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, you asked me before we started, are you ready to carry? Yeah. I am. Yeah, I'm right behind you. <laughs> so you guys are doing that. Okay, what happened next? Alright, so it's going to be still surrounded by two dead bodies and a person that probably I know, right? you. I yeah. want to scream. Yeah. But not yet, right? You can scream all you want. It's going on right now. <laughs> it's just you can't really affect anything. Yeah, it doesn't it does, affect anything. Like, screaming does nothing. Battle has already started. They're mm. gonna kill you. Oh boy. I mean, I hey. want that god is alive, but I can't do anything yet because. Oh yeah, it's not your turn yet. I mean, hey, let's be happy though. Two down, one hit each. It's yeah. not bad. That's yeah, <laughs> not, not a bad, bad start. <laughs> Try to stay optimistic in this. <laughs> All right, All right uh, Stowe, 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 what what are you gonna do? I cast uh, the fog. The fog. The fog. Yeah, fog cloud. Oh, fog cloud. Fog cloud. Okay. Um, can you click the thing for me so I can read it? <clears throat> and that uses up one of your. Uh, one of your uh, first level spell slots. Yeah, one of your first level spell slots. So, in, and you need to make sure it's concentrated. So, where would you like to put that sphere of uh, fog? Uh, you put sphere. Uh, right in front of me. Okay. Like uh. So like so right in front of like you, a or five are you below the lady? Like here? Here. I can't read it. Ping it. Cause it's up to twenty feet, right? Yeah, up to twenty. I can just do ten. Uh, Kessin. Yeah, in front of the in front of the lady. I can't remember her name. Kella. But she's like your lover. Yeah. Her. <laughs> Low key lover. <laughs> you gotta just knock her out. Call it good. All right, so you have about. So now it's all foggy in this area. Very nice. Okay. Wait a minute, you said twenty feet. He only did ten. 
He said up to 10, right? Or did you actually want to do 20 feet and get those guys too? Yeah, yeah go up to 20 feet up. You're on an area. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I, I am uh, Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh cool. shit! I can't see. So yeah, uh, as soon as as soon as the fight erupts, um, you no see Stowe. No, he's Yeah, as soon as you see the fight erupt, you see uh, Stowe just cast an incantation, and suddenly fog just rolls down. Uh, Barnaby, Varus, uh, Moriyasu, it's really hard for you to see, and Aqua, you're on the very edge of it, with the bandit staring straight at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to do anything else, sir? Uh, I'll move back a couple of feet and end my turn. And end my turn. Draw. Okay. Tan endo. Draw monster card. All right. <laughs> I was just about to say. <laughs> so, um. Uh, it's now Zulkin's turn, which you guys didn't even ask his name. You guys are rude. But his name what? is Zulkin. <laughs> <Never got a chance. laughs> but lying and not asking for names. Yeah. See, like you guys just keep coming up and you didn't even say anything. The, the guards still kind of feel hurt about it too. <laughs> uh, can we introduce I asked, the guards? I asked the yeah, guards. That, that was like after you guys like asked like five questions. No, I, I introduced myself first. I made yeah. sure. Well, we still hmm. asked their name. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's not. Yeah, we asked a couple questions because I. I mean, wouldn't you be a little suspicious over a bunch of armed people standing around a dead body? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so sorry, I'm not so quick to go. Hi, I'm Varys. How's it going? <laughs> I'm, I'm Varys. All right. So, uh, with Zulkin, he notices the giant fog and he's like, "Crap!" Uh, he want. He's trying to get out and try to get a better view. Can't really tell anything, even though he's on top of the horse. It's hard to see. And he just ends the turn like that. Okay. Um, Looks like Josh is a disadvantage disadvantage. <sighs> well, right. I can still see one. So, Varys, it's your turn. Right. Um, so, if I wanted to... I want to use magic missile... Um, but does the fog matter with that, or just as long as you know the targets there? Yeah, it depends if you know if the targets there or not. Yeah, with the magic missile, he they have to just be seen. Yeah, I would say click on the magic missile spell and then it'll uh, bring up the thing for it. I don't think his will because we we oh. made it uh, just attack. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, as a DM, I'll say that you do need to be able to see them at least. Okay. Uh, sorry. You can just prep it. I don't know. I don't know why I'm move myself there. I just, to stay yeah, out what I was for an hour. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this thing this thing stays for an hour, so I mean you guys can literally wait if you wanted. You could dispel uh, it as well it at says, any point. Dart hits a creature of your choice that you can see within range. So yeah, sight is required. Yep. Okay. Hold um, up. Hmm? Let, me, let me let me think strategy for a moment. I mean there's not much you can strategize since no one else is near you. <laughs> yeah, well I mean it's that's what they're I can move 40 feet. No, no, this guy can. You can move 40 feet? Okay, well. Yes, yeah, I can. Yeah. That's my mobility. So. And then this would be. This right here would be where you could go. At least that mm. pen is still there, so the horse. And then it would. You'd be able to see. This. Mm. This guy. Just barely this guy. Well, you just need to see him. It doesn't matter how much. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm just, like, saying. Um. Actually, yeah, I'll do that. Um, so it's... I'm just trying to, like, get you into the mentality of how you should stay. Yeah, well, that's just it. Like, how you I should would... be, be playing as a, uh, as a wizard. Yeah, that that's basically what I've been trying to do, was try to figure out, like, what would be my best... Like, because of the fog, I was thinking of moving myself into a spot where I can like blindside them with a spell. Yeah. Um, catch them off guard type That's of thing. But because I have to see them, I was trying to figure out what to do there. So uh, so yeah. Oh, for that spell. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Even though it says 35 feet. Okay. Because it so, is 35 feet. 
Yeah, because well, you, you, you go still... here to here. Yeah, because that's technically you don't, another attack piece. you don't have to do that. Oh, well, I, I just saw the fence and all and just thought, oh, that might cause some uh, movement penalty. Eh, but... the fence isn't that tall. Okay, well, all right, you so... can still make it regardless. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, cast Magic Missile on uh, which one? this guy right here. All right, cool. Uh, roll for damage. Right, and that's uh. 3d4 plus 3 for level 1 cast. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. This guy no, is so... I mean to do I'm that. gonna disguise she myself. Goes in... No, she goes into the fog and disguises herself as one of the mercenaries. <laughs> hey, another one! Boom! <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, 3d4 plus 3 for uh, a level 1 cast. I was trying to f figure out what to do, but um, thinking about it was two, four, three. Four. three. So eight. Eight. Can I add the plus one to each of them? Yeah, it's automatic. Yeah, right yeah, it automatic did it. Yeah. All right. So so you hit the uh, you hit the guy on the horse, and he feels he feels the power of that. Uh, the horse actually gets really scared and runs away and drops him on the floor. He's now prone. Perfect. He's gonna take half um, the movement to get up. Yeah, and that's it for me. I'll use this wrench. Because <laughs> usually it actually kind of makes it feel epic for us taking out two guys in one hit each and I've knocked someone out. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, you out. knocked him down. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Kella, Kella, as uh, getting out of the uh, fog, she no she goes this way and actually does notice you uh, shoot the uh, magic missiles and she's going to make her way towards you. Uh-oh. And, she, <laughs> and, she, oh, she's, and you just hear her scream, uh, uh, get over here, elf boy. I wish it was my turn, because I'd have the perfect response for that. <laughs> well, you can, well, you can still respond. You, you, I was going to say, your turn yeah, comes up for her. Seconds, yeah. oh, well, uh, Even then, talking takes, like, no time. Just... Oh, okay. Never mind. Then. Plus, you have the best option. Hiding back in here! Yeah, I can literally <laughs> run uh, back no. in here. <laughs> oh, man. Come here, oh yeah. boy. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <That's what? laughs> yeah, you, you, you crab run back in. <laughs> I'm just a curly from free speed. Just get over here, elf boy. Alright, Motiasi, what are you going to do? You are in a fog. Uh, it's currently really hard for you to see. You can, only see. you can only see about like five feet above you, in front of you. Okay, so if I walked out to here, could I see him? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, you just see uh, uh, Kikaru kind of just uh, cowering screaming. in fear. And <laughs> screaming. You could actually, you could actually tell what direction they're at. True the form okay. of your of his icon. <laughs> Do I see him on his horse? I'm pretty sure. I see him. Yes, you see him on his horse. And then I will attack. Hellbird. Oh, yeah. Cool. Well, I don't have my spear. It's kind of in this lodge. Yes, in the yeah, guy. lodge in another guy. Currently inside someone's kidneys. Oh, does an 11 hit? Yeah, probably. Uh, he parries your attack and he's ready to hit Aqua. Or uh -oh. Both the Aquas. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's all I got. Okay. Wait, <laughs> can I just say something? Like, I don't know what's going on and lie to the guard? Why are that? What the? Yeah, can I, like, I'm not... Dude, he's ready to kill. He, two he's, of his friends just yeah, died in front of his face, kill. and you're over here with us. They're gonna no, kill you. I mean, I'm, like, <laughs> right, I mean, I'm right next to the body. I see two guys next to me. Yeah, but he's yeah, he's kind of in a blood rage. Just imagine two of your friends suddenly dying. And but can I, but that's the thing. I want to do, like, a, do something deceptive, like... What, to do something? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I don't even know what's going on, and I'm screaming, and I'm screaming for help. So he's kind of confused, you know no, what I mean? They no, are, they I'll are- I'll let you know. They are blood- They're mercenaries that go out and kill innocent people daily. They do? Yes. 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 No, they're they unchecking and flinching monsters. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they're just assholes. Oh, you crying, they're just gonna be like, Wow, I got a heart on right now. Makes my penis harder. Alright, so- <laughs> that was It's gonna be- part. It's gonna be this band- uh, The bandit all the way out here. It's his turn. Um, <laughs> all you can hear, you can hear uh, 
Zolk can kind of scream with something, and they both these bandits are going to start heading into the fog and just going in. This is he's on a horse, so that's forty. Dude, they're gonna blindly go inside the fog. This is the guy. And they, uh, this this one stops right here in front of Stowe. That was about. Would that make it so that Stowe can see him now? Or? Yes, they can see. Okay. Like he can see Stowe and Barnby. So as long as they're like right next to each other in the fog. Yeah, because you guys yeah. are like five feet. Like right. <laughs> <each other. coughs> Close here. And that that was the max Thank amount you. of speed for that bandit, so he can't do anything else. But he's getting ready to attack. Okay, uh, Kikaru, your turn. Um, I have a question. I have, I see, um, you said a command. He Wait, he didn't uh, do anything. Hmm? You said the this guy moved there and didn't do anything. Yeah, because I think his thing should be forty, right? With horse. Did he did he have to use a dash to get there or what? Yeah, oh, you ended up making. Well, he's on top of a horse. Yeah, so he just get there for free. The da- yeah, the dash is the horse's action. Yeah. Ah, by okay. extension. Okay, then yeah, uh, he'll take a <laughs> swing at a uh, snow <laughs> to try to break the concentration of that defog or that fog. Uh, right. Question is, does he hit snow? That's the question. And the question is yes. No, just kidding. I hope it's just kidding. Why is this going? Well, the first attack was an 8, so that missed. But for some reason, it's not showing on your guys' screen. Yeah, it's been kind of weird. How, like, it's certain GM. rolls weren't I think Yeah, up. I think it's set to, to GM for these, but I'll, I'll let you... I'll be, I'll be uh, truthful with these. So, yeah. Um, now it's Aqua's turn. Um... I just have a quick question. What's I have that? a command skill and charm person. Do can they do anything in that situation? I charm be person, no. Command, maybe. It's command, a possibility. Yes, you can use command on them. I can but use command to, on. Yeah, but they have to fail the check. Yeah, they have to fail, resisting it. Hmm. Can I command next? Can I command Quay's character? I would, uh, it wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah. 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 It doesn't do anything. You're okay, the wrong I'll... class for that, buddy. That's no, okay. Um, that you can guy. command that guy to not do anything and then walk. Can I away. just run away into the fog and disguise myself as one of the guards? Uh, uh, I, yes. I mean, you can. Are you gonna? Are you gonna disengage or are you gonna just walk away? Oh, he can actually do that in an action. Uh, well, do we disengage as in like just getting away from the fight? Disengage is an action. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you'll have to take an action so you don't take a hit from the bandit that's next to you. He'll yeah, he gets a free swing for an attack of opportunity. I will say though, he has disadvantage, so the chance of hitting you is kinda low. Well but you the know, is... they're on the edge of the uh, fog. They're oh yeah, true. Fog. You can sure. see them. Yeah. Cause I, I I wanted to wander way into the middle, like my goal is to go here. Like somewhere around here. To, to, to disguise as a soldier and convince them to lower down the drawbridge. And do that. He, the guy's gonna swing at you. Yeah. But you this guy, this, this soldier's gonna swing at me, right? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, if, yeah. You if you do you not dis- if you do not disengage, and this is the farthest you can go, by the way, is thirty. Yeah. Can I do that? Uh, and you can pass okay. If you want to, uh, but the. Uh, Bandit's gonna take a swing at you. Okay. Okay. And but be- but before I before I even move, can I tell Quay character what's happening, the, the situation really quick? No, this is literally no. like in seconds. So every of... turn is a, is like six seconds. Yeah, yes. I know, but I mean, I I feel like my character's not that stupid. When I see two guards down next to me, I w- I can see myself like, no, what's up? You know what I mean? Well, like, no, you're no, trying. No, the to issue explain. is you're trying to talk to them in like six seconds. Are you just yeah. gonna go? Oh no no no! And then yeah, run into the <laughs> fog. <laughs> hey, honestly, you'd be better off just doing your plan. <laughs> You're running That's away from our point of view, anyways. Because but can you see me run? running and disguising? Uh, if you step into the fog, you wouldn't be able to see you disguise. Yep, none of us would. That would be the whole point. Because if they could see you disguising, then that would be a problem. But it's also a problem because we can't see you. Yeah, so we it's don't. Kind know of a doing. double-edged sword here. Uh, 
Yeah, and then uh, if you try to run this way, you're gonna run into Stow, and then you're gonna run into this guy who will get another attack of opportunity. Can I run this way over here? Like, what? around here? Yes. Okay, I'm want. gonna try to run this guy right there. Okay, uh, the bandit's gonna take a swing at you, okay? Okay, so what do I do? Uh, you hope you just don't get Oh hit. my god, he crit. Oh! <laughs> Wow! Oh, no. oh god! Sorry, John. That's you just turn unlucky. around and you just get shanked. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna roll another here. d6, another one d6, or d6 plus one. Oh no! A true aqua experience. Plus one, so you're gonna take uh, eleven damage. Okay. Jesus. You're down to four HP. Ouch! Yeah. You are bleeding. Yeah, so you're down to four HP. You're so, bleeding really badly. Okay. So, I'll, I'll, I'll do your HP right there. And then uh, your disguise self, can you... Let me see. It's just an action. It's Either just an action. It. Just changes. Yeah. It's not I can only do one. I can, I can only do one spell at a time, right? Yep. yep. Yes. You're dying and you wow. now look like one of the guys on the horses. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that was the best plan, but... But hey, it was a plan. I mean, I mean, I can't do anything. Well, you could yeah. have disengaged and not gotten hit. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Disengage? Later. Like, I disengage, don't want So disengage you... is an action, and then you can only take one action uh, each turn. And you can have one reaction and one bonus action. Moving is a uh, moving is its own action. Well, not unless yeah. you move all the way. It's its own thing. It's its own thing. Okay. Yeah, so moving by itself, you can do and then you could do your regular action like you just did but since you didn't disengage action you gotta you gotta attack up opportunity oh. okay oh so my disguise and stuff is uh, uh so action. you're disguised now yes but you're oh. gravely injured okay okay it's fine it's fine i initially i don't want to get hit but because I, I, at I mean, this point i only want to disguise myself on this point and come around but it's okay that's okay. fine where are you trying to go I'm trying to go. My goal is to come around here. Okay. But okay. it's okay. I can heal myself because he can't chase after me, can he? Uh, he doesn't know where you are. He technically. Yeah. Have to He'd have to blindly follow you guys into the fog. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Okay. I'm right there. That's all right. So, all right. So that was your turn. The pain. Oh, there he is. All right. Uh, this. Uh, the next bandit is the one that actually fell off the horse. So he's gonna take half an action to get, to get up. Half the movement is now spent. Yeah, so now he's gonna take the uh, 15 movement to go towards the direction of where it came from. So just about there. And that's that. Uh, David, your turn. Okay, so I can only see that guy in the yes. very front, right? Yes, the fog is fairly thick. Okay. He's still threatened by melee range, so advantage, yep. disadvantage. It doesn't... I don't get double disadvantage, so I can just fire. <laughs> Bada boom! No. No, wait. What's the 10 hits? Uh, no. 10 does not hit. You nearly okay. miss it and almost hit his horse. Alright. Cool. That's all I'm going to do, then. Cool. Alright. Uh, Barnaby, you go. Uh, give me old Dwarven 1-2. Alright. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get him with Oh, the are you gonna punch his horse, or...? <laughs> uh, the horse in the ass, and it runs away. Oh, uh, wait. Can, can, I say, can I yell something? I will yell, uh... Move to the back! I'll cover you! Okay, um... Uh, Motoyasu, uh, do a perception check. See if you heard that. I'm like, wait a minute. I hear good. The answer is no. No. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely do not hear good. Uh, should any uh, what uh, you're yeah, hungry? Rest of us roll to see if we heard that. Uh, you guys are too far away to hear that. You guys okay. are like Motayasu is just far enough to hear the cobalt yelp. Right. Okay. It was just because he he wasn't very specific on who he was yelling to, so I assumed it would. Moving on. I'm gonna not reaching someone is that's a stretch. I'm gonna try getting you hand backs. All right. Uh, what'd you say, uh, Barnaby? Get him with the hand axe. 
All right, cool. How did you? You gonna throw him? You gonna throw a hand axe at him? Well, I'm five feet. I can just uh, slap him. Oh, uh, okay. On top of his horse. Dude, can I reach? Is that like too hard for me or what? Uh, you're just enough. You can you can kind of nick him in the in the leg. <laughs> Maybe caps. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh my god! Yeah, you yeah. definitely hit him. All right, and then that's uh... chop the poor guy's leg off. Chop him so hard in the leg he gets cardiac arrest and dies. <laughs> Catch uh, him yeah, what was that? Yeah. Uh, All right. What so is you... that? Oh no! As I clicked his hand axe. Yeah, his hand axe is weird. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know why it does that either. But... Like click, click the hand axe? Yeah. I, I did. Yeah, it does that. <laughs> huh. That's very... Okay, I see. No, that, on, the, on the chat. That's yeah, working. good old that's roll, roll 20. But yeah, um, you, you hit him successfully. Uh, you get him in the... You get him in the there we go. See, there, I was like, what, why but he oh, does okay. still he steady himself, and he's still on top of the horse. Okay. Well, sorry, John, what was that? Um, you do, you do get him. Um, wait, was this six the damage? Because I don't no, think No, that eight was the damage. Okay, I was making sure. Um, but yeah, you get him in the abdomen, but he still steadies himself. He's still on top of his horse, and he still has one mission to stop, uh, Stow. Alright, and then I'm gonna go in for the bonus action punch. Okay. Ooh. Come on, Barnaby! Oh, oh, you do hit him. Ooh. Come on. Sick. So it's nice. uh, 14 total uh, damage. Nice. Uh, how would you like to finish him? Yes. I'm gonna yank him off the horse and just slam him into the ground if I can. Ooh. So, all right. So you you action like uh, pull him off of the horse. You, like you you hit him with the one with the one axe, gets him in his stomach, and then you just straight jump, pull him off the horse, and then just like karate chop his neck. <laughs> I was gonna say you do that thing in Mortal Kombat 11 with uh, Kung Lao, where he just like repeatedly punches them. <laughs> just <brrr. laughs> and the horse runs this direction. I love that animation. That game, the sound effects are great. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna. Uh, uh, what am I gonna do? Okay, I need this one. Um. And sorry, can I just ask, what was the name of the, the lady that's chasing me right now? Uh, Kella. Kella, got it. Okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's ready to say, nah. I didn't think we'd run into her again that soon. <laughs> so. Am I able to navigate outside the fog? Uh, yes, you, you can kind of tell where the fog is uh, originating from. Yeah, I'm just going to scale along the wall and then pop out here. Okay. Five. Oh, do you see Varys? <laughs> yeah, 25, 30, 35. Roughly, this is about the same time where you just hear, Come here, elf boy! Yeah, essentially. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, hey, yeah, buddy, how's it going? The, that's essentially, like, the uh, <laughs> the gist of that. Yeah, and I'm going to get up next to Varus, and then that will be my turn. Okay, cool. It's now one of El Banditito's turns. If my computer would like to not oh, so the one me. that's right next to me. Yes. So the one that's right next to you. He's a little confused because everything just happened so fast, but he he just sees one target in front of him, so he's gonna take a swing at you. Uh, he critically fails. <laughs> nice. Good. So he actually accidentally hits it. He actually he just hits his horse and actually kills his horse sadly. <laughs> he, he, was, he was emotionally attached to his horse and now he's crying. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> 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 you start to think that these bandits weren't that tough. <laughs> huh. And everyone was so spooked about. To, to be fair, there was a lot of them. Horses. It's, it's, it's the numbers, man. It's the numbers. Yeah, so he's now, he's now prone you because he fell know. off his horse. You <laughs> uh, <Huey>, no! <laughs> uh, That's for crying. Uh, next bandit. So the bandit's over in this direction. He he was following the other guy, straight back into uh, where Stowe was, and he's gonna try to take a swing at Stowe. Uh, twenty-two hits. 
So Stow, uh, you're gonna take seven damage, and then your fog is gonna be gone because it broke your concentration. No, it's he has to roll if it breaks. Yeah, oh yeah, roll, roll, yeah, yeah. Roll, 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 roll. Uh, yeah, con, con save. Yeah, yeah you get a con save of ten or better. Yep. See Which can... I think you actually have a proficiency with, right? No. No. I was, I was... <laughs> he definitely does not. <laughs> the constitution? He yeah. Doesn't. Oh dear. He doesn't. Okay. Oh, that? Hey! Oh, yeah. Survive. Oh, just barely. Yeah, so uh, you take the blow into the stomach, and you're like, you're still thinking that your party needs this uh, defog to make sure that you guys aren't gonna take free fire from the uh, bandits. So you, you you hold it in, but you're still critically injured from that blow. Uh, he took a uh, seven. That bandit's dead. Wow. Alright, Snow. Here, it's actually your go. <laughs> also, just ow. gets hit in the gut. Ow! Right, so Keeps the water water just the head. You're gonna do what? Like, uh, I can I can just uh, attack while I'm still, like, doing the, the fog, right? Yeah. Yes. yes, you can still attack. You just need to. You just can't cast another spell. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, if you can't. Alright, and then. Uh, Oh. Wait, I'm sorry? Hmm? Oh, you're good. It's He's just saying that if you want to cast another spell, you'd have to get rid of your fog. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I see. Uh, I'll just attack with my mace. Okay. Uh, take a swing. Who's cutting that in there? And... Hang on. Batter up? Oh, uh, you definitely hit. Nice. Nice. Got a swing. I'll oh, write the plus five. It's a good thing my sailors taught me baseball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bandit's a little, like, as soon as you say baseball, he's actually a little confused on what that is, and he's kind of curious because it sounds kind of fun. And then you slam him straight in the stomach. He's like, ow! <laughs> 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 What is this that baseball? Wasn't my character saying it. <laughs> that, wasn't, right. that wasn't my character saying it, I promise. I just imagine him like saying, what is this base? And then like before he can even say ball, he gets hit. You just hear like the girliest scream from him. Just, what is this base? Oh! <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, so anything else you wanted to do? Um, I'll just move uh five feet back and end my turn. Okay, he he's gonna take a swing at you then. He can't. He's still on uh attack range. Oh, five feet back. Okay, I yeah. he said fifteen. All right. So it's gonna be uh the bandit leader's uh turn. Um, he's a little annoyed that his guys aren't doing anything. So he knows the he saw where the source of the uh, fog's going. So he's going straight. Straight there. Oh dear. It's going straight in the center of it. Yeah. Wait, is that the right guy? Oh, never mind. Yeah. He notices Stow and he's gonna. He's like, hey, I hear that you, uh. <laughs> I hear that Lady Kella likes you a bit. Uh oh. <laughs> so he's gonna. He's gonna actually, uh, take a swing at you with his, uh. Scimitar. Uh, he does have multi attack. Oh boy. Oh boy. So. Oh no! Oh, he, he missed the first. Oh, no. This is why I missed... died. Yeah. So you parry his first attack with your shield, and you actually successfully stop his second attack too. Ooh. Would you like to make a witty retort? <laughs> I, I'm gonna stay silent. Ah, oh, the no silent comment. type, eh? No wonder <laughs> she likes you. <laughs> All right, just say nothing and he's just like Dracula ah sarcasm <laughs> <laughs> alright um it's also been about a minute in combat now okay a little bit past a minute actually something like almost a minute and a half hey only one minute I was gonna say I think yeah. we've only been around two rounds right no it's only been one full round yeah it's, it's been one full seconds. round oh yeah six seconds 
Yeah, well, uh, it's about it's about like a minute. No, oh, this this would be the start of the second round. Yep. Hmm. What do I want to do? Oh, well, you're gonna retort first. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, elf boy. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Stamp <Stay> foot. <laughs> Um, no, I ain't wanna go. <laughs> Are you able to tell me how how many feet she's able to move, or no, no? Okay, just just thought I'd ask. Uh, On basis, usually thirty. Yeah, usually most, thirty most with humans. Noise is thirty. That that's just a standard. Yeah, I'd say. I think 30 to 35 feet is usually the average. <laughs> yes, Moto, I see that. <laughs> um, I do remember hmm. something, but I don't want to say it out of... Uh, in, I, I can't say it out of character. Yeah, that's fine. She was human, though, right? Yep, human. Yeah. I'm gonna move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, I'm going to move to here. And I'm going to cast another magic missile at her. Okay. Uh, roll for damage. Spell shot. Sure. I guess two left. 3d4 plus one. Or 3d4 plus three. 3d4 plus what, sorry? 3d4 plus three. Just press your number. Don't, don't, don't listen now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a massive damage. So eight. That's uh, is that eight? No, oh, that's uh, nine. nine. Oh, nine. Let's with those uh, with the eights and nines. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so she's going to take that damage. She's going to be like, ow! Man, you really are asking for it, aren't you? <laughs> and she notices the dwarf. Oh, sorry, Shorty. Couldn't notice you. <laughs> <laughs> that was uncalled for. <laughs> I'll get that. Like, yeah, whatever. I know what I am. <laughs> I'm proud. <laughs> My response should have just been, oh, shoot, you're going to take that part of me? <laughs> Mom and pride. <laughs> All right, Varus, anything else you want to do? There's nothing else we can really do. Um, Using my cantrips is an action. It's an action. Uh, and also, you already casted a spell. Before. Yep. Right. Um, but uh, it doesn't affect my uh, uh, my slots, do they? Yeah, cantrips no. are free. Cantrips, cantrips are free. Cantrips are free. Yeah, they are zero, uh, zero level spells. Yep. So they don't use any of your spell slots. None of your cool spells. Okay, I, I just wanted to make sure on that. Um, but yeah, for now I'll just end my turn. Okay. So Kella's gonna start running towards you guys. Uh, she noted she sees a uh, Barnaby. She's like, ah, why not? I can take you out real quick. Oh, fight me. <laughs> <laughs> so she's gonna, she's actually going to. One v one me, bro. <laughs> May. She's going to distract you with a one, <laughs> one hit melee. Uh, does a 12 hit? Does a 12 hit? No, it does not. All right. And she's going to take a uh, second attack because she has multi-attack. Um, that one definitely does not hit. She's like, ah, you're pretty good, dwarf, but you're not who I'm after. She's going to use her cunning action to disengage. Oi, get back here. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> wow, that was a lot of feet she just regained. <laughs> After her, now look who's playing hard to get. <laughs> she kind of flips you the bird while she's running up straight for Varus. <laughs> I'll find you with a good time. <laughs> Do I hear her flipping the bird from my side? I'm just like, oh, look, it's Varus. Yeah, you see Varys running away from from Kella. <laughs> Kella's like dashing at him, and Varys is just Play screaming. Video music. <laughs> Are you okay over there, Varys? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Mot Moteyasu, it's gonna be uh, your go. 
Uh, is he prone from killing his horse? Yes. Awesome. He's prone. Advantage. <laughs> You'll get advantage on, on the hit. <laughs> the strongest advantage in the world. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, you, you actually miss. Damn. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, so as you, as you were swinging, got this. <laughs> so as you were swinging, like you you swung your halberd towards his head, but he like prone back down, and he's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> my horse, <laughs> and and you almost did a full 360, and you're like, I hope no one saw that. Varus, roll for perception, see if you saw that. Can I see if I yes, see? Yes, yes, oh. uh, both of you. You want me to roll and perception? I have advantage, yes, so both of you. Considering I'm in an easy okay. position. But you're in light. It. Yeah, you're but not in an easy position to see it. You mm -hmm. actually have disadvantage. I mean, you're like the only thing I can fucking see. So. No, it's the daytime, remember? Yeah, I know. It doesn't say that I can't see properly. Yeah. That's I only have disadvantage to hit a target in daylight. That means you can't see them. <laughs> the enemy. Not you. Yeah. <laughs> he knows you too well. I'm going to throw my spear <laughs> straight at that watchtower. <laughs> you know straight at that watchtower. You never got your spear back from the first corpse. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> you shit. All right. So, Varus, you, you kind of just see him, like, miss an attack. You don't. You couldn't really t see the comedic part of it. Uh, David, you, you noticed. You are just like, really, man? <laughs> really? Damn. <laughs> All right, uh, Aqua, uh, Kikari, your turn. Okay, so um, this horse, I can't know how to show you. The how horse, is, the horse you is just kind like of, one. the horse is just kind of getting away. He's not actually there. Oh, okay, I was wondering. It's like you put that in front of him. He's probably gonna try to get on it. Uh, that's what I was gonna do, but I guess not. I don't know. Can I heal? Still, yep. you, uh, you can't see him. You don't know where he's at. Yeah, you're in the fog. Okay. Uh, you can only really see five feet in front of you, which is like one square. One square. Oh, uh, okay. Can I walk and then use heal, like heal wounds for myself? Sure, if you want to. How, how long, how far can I walk? You can walk, uh, I think yours was 30. 30 feet, yep. Yep, 30 feet. You can walk pretty far. Really? I can walk yeah. to here? Uh, oh. If you go towards the, that hill, you'll have a... Uh, It'll take a bit more time because it's a hill. No, like wait here. I want to walk here. Yeah. Yep. Easily. You can okay. Walk there. Can I walk? Well, can I heal and then walk there? Yes. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Uh, how do I heal? Uh, click that spell, and then you're just gonna use one of your spell slots. So make sure you. Actually, I'll just do it for you. The kill wounds. Yep. 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 So now you only have two spell slots left. How do I heal? It's in both your weapons mm -hmm. and or spells. Okay. You just click it. No, my character sheet's really small. I can't expand it. And I'm just, just you like, should be able to make it bigger. Yeah. Okay, um. <laughs> oh, I love this music. I can't. Yes, this is oh, the music. Okay. This thing right here. Eh? Oh. You click it. I you click on it. it. Well, did nothing come up? Cast at what level? Uh, level one. one. So you heal yourself for ten. Nice. Oh, okay. Pretty much healed most of what you lost. Yeah. yeah. So you're back to fourteen. Okay. And can I talk to this? That's, that's uh, just a next to me. Oh, not yet. That, that's just a, a random team. horse. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. a random horse. You see the little face icons that are on the horses down at the bottom? Those are the. The oh. bandits. If you hey, don't see their face on a horse, that means it's just a horse. <laughs> you want to talk to the horse? Because I'll let you. <laughs> it's just kind of confused. <laughs> Tell me your secrets. Because <laughs> <laughs> the closest bandit to you is this one. And he's kind of pissed because he just uh, he just fell off his horse and he's trying to go chase after the wizard, but not as well. As I'm the, still disguised as a soldier, right? So. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yep. Okay. Um, so I can't do anything else? Like, Can I grab that horse? I don't know. No, you're no, too, far. too far. It's too far too away. Far. Too yeah, far. you've moved as far as you can. And you already used okay. your action, so there's nothing else you can really do. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Uh, next is this bandit's turn. He, he notices uh, you guys made a mad dash, 
and he really just wants to get payback from from the wizard. So he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna actually dash over there. Or actually, oh. actually even better. He's actually gonna go over here. He notices the dwarf. He's like, yeah, what a fairly tall dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then he's gonna uh, shoot his light crossbow. God, it's not Does a 12 I'm like, hit. oh, like, ah! <laughs> one, one more time. Does a 12 hit. 12 does not. Alright, so the crossbow bolt nearly misses you. Ah, Jesus! Alright, David, it is your go. David? He's dead. Something might have caught his attention real quick. David, no! <laughs> David, we need you in the battle, man! <laughs> well, like the guards, He's the guards you. really just took David out because they were also mercenaries. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the guards were actually secretly mercenaries. Especially the country girl. <laughs> the no! Just, him and just slits his throat. No, he's just busy laughing at Moto <laughs> and laughing at the sight of Varys running away. He, he fell prone laughing too hard. All right, I'll, I'll pass his turn for right now. Um, but the next turn after that, it's going to be David. Okay, so... All right, so Barnaby, you go. Oh, wait, unless, that, unless that's David. No. Who is it? David, is that you? Snake? Snake? Cobalt! <laughs> Lizard! Oh. Lizard! Lizard! No, alright, Barnaby, it's your go. Alright, we're gonna go on in. Heard you talking shit like I wouldn't find out, and I'm gonna whack with the hand axe. Okay. Hey. <laughs> you. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Jeez, they oh, I always gotta get. One fucking shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, as she, as you were ready to throw your hand, or actually like uh, hit her with your hand axe, she she skillfully actually parries you, and you actually uh, hurt yourself on the boulder next to yourself, next to you. So take a one d six damage. Back. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Because he he struck the uh, he struck the uh, boulder fairly fairly strongly. How, how much? So it's kind of like reverb. I want to say one. Uh, one d6. Oh, I'm I'm rolling the one d6. I thought yes. you were. No, you were. Uh, two. So yeah, you'll take two damage from just hitting the that rock, that boulder next to you. Ooh. Yeah, kind of have that reverb <laughs> feature. Uh, oh, and wait, David, we we skipped wait. your turn over you, uh, but you're gonna get this next one. All right. Uh, I will then proceed to go in with a bonus action punch. <laughs> no, okay. That's what I call chip. <laughs> oh hell yeah! I saw that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, and then you, you, she, as she as she's laughing at your failure, you sock her in the face. Sorry, you can. I'm still wow. gonna laugh at him. Oh, max damage. She's Good like, job. ah, I really felt that one. Yeah, that's probably more where that came from. Jeez, lady, how much health do you have? <laughs> As I'm running She's away. Fairly healthy. <laughs> She's fairly healthy. Oh boy. Alright, uh, that's my turn. Alright, ah. David, it's your go. I'm still laughing at Barney. Okay. Did he actually see me though? Because I was like, I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna move positions over to uh, this tower okay. while reloading. Okay. I'm gonna shout, um, uh, uh, and never mind. Forget about the shout. Dragon shout. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll take a over. shot over at uh, her if I can. Uh, Varys is kind of in the way, so you'd have to. He, he's like a little too close for comfort. Partial cover. Yeah, he's a little too close okay. for comfort. Okay, let me get my sheet and then boom. Boom. Yes. No. Nope. No. She so uh, as soon as the crossbow bolt uh, flies over her shoulder, she's like, "Ah, that's where that one was hiding. I'll go after him next." <laughs> if you can find him. Varys <laughs> <laughs> is still like screaming. <laughs> <laughs> All 
<laughs> All right, uh, it's going to be the uh, Crying Bandit's turn. He's a little enraged. He's going to use half an action to get back up. He's like, come at me, man. And, he's, uh, <laughs> and he has a reaction ready for uh, a swing at you. <laughs> he's still, he's still kind of, he's still really sad because I like how that this fight started so epic and now it's become comedic. <laughs> <laughs> just like, can I just let if him mourn and just leave him alone? If he didn't critically <laughs> fail, this would be a lot better. But he, he had to critically fail. All right, uh, the next bandit, uh, the one that's right next to Stowe, uh, he notices Zulkin and he's just like, "Yeah, go get him, boss!" But he's also gonna come into the fight with uh, Stowe and Zulkin and take a swing at Stowe. Oh God, Stowe! Uh, hang in there, uh, Stowe. You hurt my face. Uh, uh, Twenty definitely hits. Cool. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna take three damage. Fucking hunt down the Freeman. Hopefully he's still okay. Isn't Are it? you still okay, still? Uh, yep. There's a con save to be rolled. Yeah, and then roll your con save too. Okay. Please keep the fog up. Oh, I didn't click it. Nope, the fog would dissipate. Damn. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, uh, the fog dissipates. The fog is now gone. Goodbye, fog. It was very useful. It was. <laughs> like, goddamn. So, let me delete this ugly drawing of a... Of a cloud? <laughs> of a cloud. <laughs> It's just remember, it's happy little laugh. It's like this. Yep. Um, but still, are you okay health wise? I actually don't know what your health is at the moment. I'm not completely sure either. Uh, you took, uh, what was the first amount of damage you took? Isn't it like 10? From the first guy? You took like 7 damage. I know it hurt a lot. Yeah, so you took seven damage. Yeah, and you're I took another three. Yeah, I took seven damage. And then seven you took another seven. three. Uh, is that enough to down you? Shouldn't be. He should have. Because he should have at least like thirteen or. He has eighteen health, I think. Because he has a plus two con modifier, so yeah, he should have eighteen. Okay. Yeah. So you should you should be fine. You just took uh ten damage so far out of your eighteen. It's just your, to your token again. hasn't uh, changed, so I need I need to fix that for you. Why does mine still say 7 and 2? I thought I changed that. It's because of the map. Yeah, it's because of the, probably because of the map change. What's your new health? Just for before I beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> what, me? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mine's at a... Mine was sitting at 11. 11, 11? Okay, cool. That's enough for me to kill you. <laughs> All right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, she's out for blood. All I hear is screaming. All right, Stowe, what are you going to do? <laughs> this, this lady is chasing you down. All right, Stowe, so what are you going to do? Um, I'm going to cast I'm going to cast cure wounds on myself. Okay. Since the fog is out. Okay. Good idea. Uh and I use both your spell slots. His isn't set up because I didn't set him up as well as. Trump. Okay, so then just do a one d eight plus uh, what was your spell casting, which is wisdom. Yep, yep. So whatever your wisdom modifier is. Okay, one d eight, and then. And that would be plus. Plus. Wisdom. Fire is okay. It's plus three, plus three so, so you, you I, I'm healing eight damage. Okay, so basically heal back most of what you lost. So, yep. So you're at 16 HP now. Yeah, no one else is supposed to know that, but I do know. I All right, know uh, it's gonna be Zulkin's turn. He's like his health might actually be 17, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll we'll fix it later. 
uh, Zulkin's like, hey, that's cheating, man. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna, he's gonna be, he's still a little mad that he's kind of jealous at you, so he's gonna keep swinging at you. So he's gonna do uh, his uh, several multi attacks. Uh, 23 does, only does hit. You take 6 damage. Second hit does not hit. And the third hit does not hit. So you take 6 damage. That's a good thing I healed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely good. Because he's, uh, he's definitely a tough boy. Just like that tough girl over there. <laughs> that yeah. I'm being she, chased she, she, by. <laughs> she, pretty, she pretty tough, too. She, she big tough. All right, uh, Varus, here you go. <laughs> 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 I, I hate the fact that she's right. I love the fact she's right behind you, <laughs> in like eternal order. Wait, where was she last? She was. She was where that uh, bandit that I proned was is sitting right now, right? And yeah. then yeah, bro, I right. was. She's a lot stronger than us. This is so bad. Yeah, I, I get that. It was just because I got so confused because like I had thought she had taken up mo most of her mobility, and then when she disengaged from Barnaby, I was like, "Wait, then how did you catch up with me?" <laughs> it's a it's a special spy skill. Oh, okay, got it's, it. It's her class. Never mind then. I shall pull that out. Five, ten, fifty. Seven. She. I'll just tell you, she's a speedy girl. Oh yeah, she <laughs> does have a lot of movement. Yep. <laughs> Why did I class. let that chick kiss me? <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't know either. All right, I want to move thirty-five feet. And uh, would provoke and attack, my friend. Guess I'll just uh, blast her with another magic missile. <laughs> <laughs> that point blank. Okay, I'll let you. <laughs> point blank. <laughs> Pretty close. Oh, no, you'd be moving away. Yeah. If you move away and you cast, she can swing at you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's so. either you disengage and run and you can't attack her, or you test the, is she going to hit me in the back and kill me? Yeah. While she's going to go right after you and right after this. Oh. Wait, maybe you kill her. You never know. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so you want to let her uh, take a swing at you? No. <laughs> Because she, she's licking her lips in anticipation <laughs> in this one second, like this one to six oh seconds you're doing. God. So, so if I if I disengage, that's my action, and and I get to move without being attacked. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna disengage. All right. and I'm just gonna run. to right next to Moto. <laughs> Hi, so, Moto! <laughs> she's she's gonna scream, Why are you running? <laughs> yeah, why are you running? <laughs> Give me a reason to stop! <laughs> God, I'm so tempted to trip him. <laughs> I swear to God! <laughs> if you do... <laughs> if I roll one. If I roll a one. <laughs> no, don't! <laughs> Uh, well, you can't trip him. You're close enough to trip him. I am. Stop! Don't oh, feet away, though. Don't motivate him. If Wait, he's I ten don't... feet away from me, I can touch him. Yeah. Yeah, but and, well, uh, oh, yeah, right, because your weapon. That's right. Mm -hmm. I forgot you have a halberd. Yep. That's funny. <laughs> okay. All right. So well, that's, that's all, all you want to do. do. So. Okay. All right. She's gonna be like, she's gonna see Barnaby still trying to hit her, and she's like, hm, "Don't worry, buddy. I'll come after you later. I just need to get this guy first. So she's gonna disengage again as her bonus action for, uh, oh, for bro. cunning action. Oh, you bitch! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I told uh, you she didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> she'll, she'll be like. <laughs> Oh hey, it's the blonde guy. Oh, oh god I'll damn it! it. <laughs> she, she'll like, she'll like. I'll, I'll give you your kiss later, and she's kind of sneering. And she's nice. gonna, uh, she... <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna take a swing at. Uh, she's gonna do her multi attack at you, Barris. <laughs> oh, oh god. fuck me! That's an eleven hit. 
What? No, does, does it? Does it hit? Does an oh. 11 hit you on your AC? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I think it does, from what I remember, but I don't remember his sheet at the moment. My... Does it have to be higher than my AC? It has to be. No, it has to be higher or equal to. Mm -hmm. Uh, it does not hit. So it's exactly 11, right? Uh, my AC is, uh, 12. Oh, okay, cool. Then, yeah, she misses the first attack, and she's going to swing again. Oh, my goodness. And she critically failures. Oh, thank, thank God. <laughs> thank she's you, like, God. Why are you so slippery? <laughs> <laughs> and you're you're blowing raspberries at her. You kind of got some spit on her face. <laughs> no, I just flat up spat on her. <laughs> oh, oh, even better. She's really, really infuriated now. <laughs> Monte, I'll see what you go. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. Okay, I can't believe she freaking critically failed on her second swing. <laughs> I'm gonna try Don't to worry. hit this guy in front of me. Are you gonna hit the other uh, bandit? Yeah. Okay. Take the swing. Or try. Nope. Oh my uh, god, you dude. You definitely miss. He does the whole uh, pouting thing again. But this time he parries you skillfully and you're like, what the? <laughs> he's just so sad he's a master swordsman. <laughs> yeah, he just suddenly he just suddenly got ten levels. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. I'm gonna action search. Okay. Gonna, I really want to hit this guy. I'm you so mad. So <laughs> <laughs> He's done like a hit. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. <laughs> hey! Oh, uh, a 13 definitely hits. How would you like to kill him? I don't even know. I just he's warning. I'm just gonna be like, so I I'll just bring you back with your horse, buddy. Oh. I'm just gonna just pierce right through. <laughs> like, All right, so you you pier uh, as soon as uh he he skillfully uh, parries the first attack, you he didn't realize how fast you were, and you pierce him straight through his stomach, and he's super lifeless. And then you put him on top of his horse, and it looks like he's uh kind of like caressing his horse now, and he's kind of smiling. That's <laughs> and, almost creepy. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's uh that's your turn. Uh no, it's not. Uh, unless I will then. Alright. <laughs> at, at this point, Vardavi, I'm depending on you in this situation. <laughs> I got the best! I only promised to try. Yeah, that's all I could ever ask, my friend. Uh, yes, that does hit. Uh, how would you like to kill this one? Jesus. Don't hurt my friend! I just... Here's him right off. Just stab him right off his horse. Weapon triangle. <laughs> <laughs> you scream weapon triangle. All right, so he's dead. Your name's not Frederick. <laughs> uh, this horse is gonna. This horse is gonna run away towards you. Uh, make a deck save. Uh oh. Yeah, horse, I killed it. Wait, no, I like horses. Oh man, his forte. Hey? Is that deck save? Yeah. Oh god! <laughs> the horse hits you straight on. Uh, take 1d6. Yikes. Because you had trampled up a bit and you are now prone. One. Okay. You take At one least damage. it's only one damage. Varus. <laughs> <laughs> it's running straight Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Dex save, please. <laughs> Alright. Dex water? roll. Here he comes. No, he's oh. following the road. Oh, so he's just going <sighs> to... Yeah, he's gonna turn. Oh. Uh, nine. <laughs> I hate you so much right now, John. <laughs> All right, so take one d one d six, please. Fine, you'll just get a one. She, she's and then uh, Kella's gonna make a deck save now too. Oh, here, uh, I think it, it even got her. Six. Uh, Is that right? Yes, it is. I hope. Oh! <laughs> uh oh! Hey, at least you crit. <laughs> what do you mean, at least I crit? <laughs> oh, damn. oh my god, she she actually. <laughs> she failed her deck, I think. No. Uh, she, he she, dodged she, it. she crit. 
Oh. She no. crits her. So with her with what, her deck she save, jumped on the fucking horse. She jumped on top of the horse and now she's stopping it right about here. So she's now on the horse. Oh no. Because she skillfully jumped over it and tamed it. <laughs> In an instant. In an instant. She actually knows the horse. The horse's <laughs> name is Delilah. <laughs> Wrench on me, I guess. That's what you're doing for down. Yeah, yeah that's what he's doing for prone. You're also prone, Novars. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> Why is it that whenever it comes down to the very things that I should be proficient at, I'm failing those? <laughs> <laughs> that's just the life of D and D, my friend. It is very God much the it. life of D and D. There was, uh, I was playing with Casey and my roommate, and uh, fucking every deck save I had, I had a plus nine to decks, and I failed nearly every deck save. D and D is a love hate relationship. <laughs> I'm like, plus nine, you basically <laughs> win. Yeah, and I lost higher than a five because I kept rolling like five and below. Jesus. Anyways, moving on. All right, uh, Kikaru, it's your turn. You're still can with the I, horse. Can I tame this horse right here? Yes, uh, do animal handling. Oh my god. <laughs> so let's let the gate down or something, I don't know. <laughs> it's not even gonna help us by lowering the gate. Hey, we He's don't know that. The horse. Uh, what's don't the animal anything. handling? It's just under acrobatics on your sheet. It should yep. be near the very top, next to all the other skills. It's on the character sheet. Oh. It's on core. Yep. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Core. Uh, yeah, so the, the horse is not listening to you. Damn it. <laughs> so I can't do anything? Can I no, still you do can, anything You can still else? do stuff. The animal handling is not really an action. Can I try it again? No. Okay, can I lower down the drawbridge? You'd have to climb up the watchtower, which would take probably your whole round. Okay. That's you want to do that? Yep. Okay. So we're going to get up there. Um, it's going to take about another like half a round for you to actually get the drawbridge lowered all the way down. Okay. But you guys can, but you guys from the distance, you can hear the drawbridge kind of. <clears throat> cool. That's a thing. So that's going on now. Uh, next bandit's turn, I think, if he's not dead. No, it's this one. No, it's the far one. He's he still wants to uh, just shoot the uh, crossbow at the uh, dwarf, just trying to help out uh, Kella. Is he still down, by the way? No, no. He's, uh, no, no, he got I, back up and started moving this way. Okay, because I saw like the little wrench on him. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I, I needed to take that off, but it wasn't coming off. That's all. Okay. So uh, that definitely does not hit. So no turn for him. David, your turn. Okay. Uh, I am going to shoot a lady who's on a horse. Okay. Oh, uh, but no one's, no one's nearby. It. Just yeah. Advantage. Shit. I could shoot this guy, though. Uh, I would say shoot her, honestly. Stowe's kind of in the way. <laughs> uh, disadvantage? Yeah, I mean, with I think disadvantage. it's... And Stowe's kind of in the running? way of that one. I can hit her. Yeah, he can hit her. Oh, no, uh, the, the other guy, the one in front of Stowe. He'd be having partial cover, but yeah. Oh. Because remember, I'm above everything. That's what I thought. If you shoot me... Yeah, this is, this is, where, this is where Stowe falls. This is actually the end of his campaign. Yeah, he just gets a fucking oh. arrow to the back from a critical run. The I'll uh, I I'll just take the disadvantage shot since it's safer for you guys. Okay. Damn, I was hoping for the the career ender. Ah, uh, boy. Uh, does not hit. Okay, well that's my turn. Man, that was a four and a five. Holy shit. Oof. All right. Uh, Barnaby, here it goes. Christ, that's plus eight. Uh, let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty, thirty-five. All right, what you gonna do? Oh, we're gonna take a swing with the hand axe at her. Okay. She's starting to get, get really in? annoyed by your constant coming up at her. Dwarven one, two. Miss. <laughs> God damn it. Fair. The Dwarven one, two. Miss. <laughs> <laughs> So she actually, she actually uh, just kind of goes away from the, the ho no, she's still on the horse, but she like kind of weaves back and forth on top, kind of like a ballerina. You guys realize that she's not a monk <laughs> at this point. Yeah. 
<laughs> She's just uh, really good at her job. That's that's my turn. All right. Uh, I'm think... so screwed. <laughs> You're supposed to like be like, you really look short now. <laughs> All right, still your go. Um, I was gonna charge at the guy attacking me. Okay. With my mace. All right. Uh, you actually hit. All right, nice. Nice. So he'll take uh, that five damage. He'll be like, Ah, you actually have a pretty good swing, my friend. But not well enough. Yeah, and that was my turn. Now it's his turn. He's like, don't worry. After I'm done with you, I'll get your friends real quick, too. So he's going to do his normal swings. His multi attack. Does a 14 hit. That's the answer. It didn't, right? No. 14 doesn't hit him. Okay. Uh, does a, yeah, does a 17 hit? That sh I don't know if it's 16 or 18 as they see. Oh, I'll look at a sheet real quick. 16. Yeah. So, this hits. Uh, you'll take 5 damage. <coughs> So now you should be at 11, right? We didn't get you mm -hmm. hit by anything else, right? Other than that one guy before he went down. Oh yeah, he did hit you before he went down. How much did you take from that? Actually, I don't think he did. Oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't get hit. So I'm looking through that. Uh, he'll take one more swing at you. Uh, that one definitely does not hit. Okay. Uh, Varus, uh, you're screaming go. <laughs> oh, you you're are... so lucky that you get to go before her because she was going to damage know. the hell out of you. Yeah. I know! <laughs> you're, you're prone, by the way, so you have to use half your action to get up. Yeah, okay, you? well, obviously I'm going to do that. Um, mm -hmm. What can I do with only half an action? No, half movement. Yeah, you can only move uh, half of whatever. Yeah, that's, that's it. Because you, you still have all your actions and everything. So I can only move half of what my max yeah. movement is? Mm -hmm. So you currently only have 15 feet of movement remaining. Okay. Um, it's like you get up and you cast something. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I mean, either way, I'm e either way, I'm still in danger's way, no matter where yeah. I move. So it's just, what should I do from here? Well, how many spell oh, thoughts to you? Because that is important. <laughs> well, I kind of find this funny because you're getting chased around the whole. Time. I still yeah, have... the whole entire fight. You've been getting chased yeah, around. Yeah, it's really just been one giant like anime chase just <laughs> <laughs> throughout the town too. Yeah. Uh, actually, I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to make it where we just do a full circle <laughs> around, but she catches up too quick. It's not going to be on possible. A horse now. She's on a horse now. Yeah, and now she's on a horse, so it's even worse. Um, jeez. Oh, so I can only move twenty. So I mean, if you can, you can try to. Make your last stand right there, next to your friends. <laughs> or you can keep running, either or. Yeah, or you can funny. keep running, but she... <laughs> keep running is not gonna do anything. You, you, can, you can get her lower enough. Who knows? On the bright side, I still have two spells I can use. Yeah, exactly. Mm. All right. The worst so part, if you run. Five, <laughs> Oh, but if I use all 20, I can't act. You can dash, but it, not with the horse. Mm, oh, oops, sorry. Didn't mean to ping. All right, I'm going to move next to Moto. <laughs> you cry. Hey, buddy, give me a hand. <laughs> yeah, sure. Can you stand still for just one second? 
Uh, just gonna, just, uh, uh, <laughs> just good. gonna, um, you know, just, uh, he <laughs> uh, <laughs> me up. <laughs> nope. Damn. So, so from what you can tell, uh, Moteyasu, he just comes up to you. He's like, buddy, buddy, come, come here. I just need. He's, it looks like he's about to do mending. Is like, and you're thinking to yourself, like, huh? I didn't, I didn't know he knew mending, but I don't have any broken weapon anything. or armor or anything. And you just, you just feel him, and you, you can hear him go. Vars is you. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, heal one d four. You use one spell slot for that. Yeah, that's pretty... all right. Let me. Uh... <laughs> yeah, let me. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I knew this spell would come in handy. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> all right. Thanks. I seriously brought him. Can you use a half action to pick me up? I... Pick me up? <laughs> no. He no. Just got I up think you're good. He just got up and just touched you in like the knee. <laughs> <laughs> just like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, sure. Let me uh, just give me a moment. And then I my turn. <laughs> yeah, it takes it takes a second for this spell to go. Um, so Kel Kella notices that she's like, what the hell? You know what? And she's gonna actually just. Uh, I, she's a little conflicted because you've been so, somehow dodging her and she's like kind of eyeballing her uh, crossbow and she's like no I, I gotta do this and she's gonna disengage from uh, Barnaby on the horse and she's gonna do her two swings while you're kind of uh, doing your uh, healing spell <laughs> thank Wait. you uh... did I miss my turn again no no okay your turn's gonna be uh, after okay after uh, John. Okay. So, first swing. Oh, she crit. Oh no! I'm, I'm not joking. I'd I'm gonna I'll literally be like, you. uh. So you take uh, a, <laughs> you, know, you take ten damage. So basically, I'm unconscious then. You're unconscious. Rip. Then. Damn it. You're like, thank you. Uh, goo. So yeah, she huh. she, she kind of like bonks you in the back of the head with her short sword, and she's like, hey, blonde kid, you're up. She sees Zulkin on the other side, kind of waves a little bit as she knocks a Vars unconscious. <laughs> I'm conflicted. He's like, oh, ready for that it. kiss, boy? Yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yeah, she's gonna head over the corpse of uh, Varus. Well, not the corpse yet. <laughs> Why are you uh, pronouncing me dead or <laughs> I think it's just really funny. Thank you. Uh Alright, Moto, your turn. I stand up. The horse is also a little bit on top of you, uh Varus, you're like, ow. Why? <laughs> what did I do? <coughs> Didn't think about shooting the uh the, the spell straight at her in her vision. Oh, he had to be in vision too. Yeah. Eyeball contact. Well, I'm gonna swing at this guy. What's I'm your... totally ready for this kiss. One second, babe. I gotta get rid of the competition. He's gonna parry. For action. His action? Yeah, his reaction. Oh, okay. Let's see if he can parry. If I even hit. Oh, yeah. Try to pair that. Wait a minute. Yeah. That you, just... you, you hit him. Yeah, fucker. Smack. He's like, he's getting ready to parry. He's like, uh, don't worry. It's, I'm, I'm not too worried about this stupid blonde guy. And then he, uh, he, he gets hit in the stomach and he's like, ah! So, got him. Stupid blonde guy, you say? <laughs> cool. Uh, anything else? Uh, that's my turn. Aqua. Okay, I'm gonna get back down from the tower. Yeah, you use half an action to uh, roll the bridge, so the bridge is officially down now. Oh yeah, it should be half down, right? Okay. So, bonus action? Yep. Okay. Can I come down the tower? And... Yes, you are down the tower now. Okay, you, can I... You have uh, no movement, though, at this point. 
Okay, but can I? Yeah, you can get on the horse. Animal handling. Anim animal if handling. You, if you want to hand animal handling again. Yeah, let's do it again. You can ride back. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you are on top of the horse now. The horse does have a, uh, I'll say, thirty of its own movement. So do you want to use that any? Oh, it can go now. I can move. The horse. The horse. Thirty. Yep. Okay. By the way, you still look like one of them. Yeah, you still look like one of them, by the way. I'm just gonna let you know that. That's okay. Uh, can I come over here? Yes, with the horse, yep. Can I get down the horse and later no, tame No, you cannot get down the horse. That yeah, because you mounted the horse. Yeah, okay. But can I just get near this horse? This is it. Oh. That's not far I can go. Yeah. Don't worry okay. about this horse. This horse is kind of just back there. <laughs> okay, that's He's fine. not part of anything. <laughs> he doesn't want to be a part of anything. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get that horse too, by the way. <laughs> oh my gonna, man! You gonna rank up horse. all the horses? You also forget that your camel and your uh. Yeah, where is it, by the way? They're in the stables. I told you that. You I know, know but where, where, what is the stable? Is this? Oh, that thing. It's okay. I mean, they're fine there. No one's gonna steal them. <laughs> I'm gonna be sitting here like, huh? Maybe I'm surprised that, we didn't see that before. before. No. Yeah. M <laughs> very. <laughs> so very strange to me. Yeah, so, uh, David, you actually weren't really paying too much attention to the horses. You just knew they were kind of hungry. Uh, yeah. Motoyasu, well, you were just too dumb to realize that one was a camel <laughs> and one was a donkey. Huh. While this you were really playing with the horses. really tall horse and a really short one. <laughs> <laughs> and you were thinking about that in the middle of combat. <laughs> huh. Alright. Uh, that should be it for Kikaru's turn. Uh, David, your turn. Okay, uh... Well, since you're in melee range... Yeah, clear shot at her. Clear shot at yeah, her. You got a straight clear shot. <clears throat> no disadvantage. Nice. No disadvantage. Boom! Boom! Hey, nice! Yeah, you definitely hit her. Or... Not very hard, though. Not very hard. You get her in the back You get her in the back of the shoulder, and she's really aggravated now. Um, Zulkin looks very concerned. Hey, stop eyeing my lady like that. I taunt her, but I, I don't think she can hear me. Hey, she I definitely bitch. cannot. Hey, I, <laughs> hey, it's me! She probably also can't see exactly where you are. She just knows where your arrows are coming from. For all we know. Fair enough. That's true. Okay. I'm still like 60 feet away. <clears throat> That's not even counting height. It's Barnaby's turn. Yep, Barnaby, your go. Right. I'm gonna do a five. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get her with the old hand axe punch combo. The 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 combo you've been doing on her this whole time. Yep. <laughs> Two buttons, it's easy. Uh, well, maybe you'll crit this time like she did. Maybe. Uh I think I'm actually gonna spend a key point and use a uh, flurry of blows. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna make one one attack with the hand axe and then two unarmed strikes. Oh, swing! So hand axe. And it hits. Oh, it definitely hits. Damage. Nine Ooh. damage. Would, Max how damage. How would you like to finish her off? Uh, do you want to kill her or do you want to just knock her out? Uh, how would you like to make that look like? You I'm use the blunt go. edge of the axe to knock her out. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the knockout. I'm gonna just like leap up into the air and just, or leap onto the horse and then just bat her on the head. Okay. So she she visibly falls down on the horse and ends up in the field. Uh, Zulkin is really is actually just notices she's really angry right now. I turn around. My kiss. <laughs> <laughs> So she's passed out. She's actually, she's somewhat close to Varus, so it's kind of uh, poetic in a way. <laughs> um, okay, well, actually, on that note, I guess I don't spend a key point. Okay. Because that fine. happens yeah, after. you didn't have point. to. I was just assuming I wasn't going to take her out with that first hit, honestly. Nah, she was, she was fairly low the whole time. Ah. Alright, Stowe, a year ago. Um, you, so you have I a visible, uh, unless yeah. Barnaby has something else. No, because my like bonus action would. Well, actually, no. You know, I lied. I'm gonna spend a key point, and I'm gonna bonus action to. I'm gonna use uh, step of the wind and get up close to this bastard. Okay. 
Okay, uh, that, that, that's it. Alright. So, Stel, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to take advantage of his little distraction and then hit him with my mace again. Okay. You're gonna you actually yourself. have advantage, because you're yep. flanking him. He's more uh, worried about what's happening with uh, Kella. Oh, okay. Wow, this might actually hurt him a lot. <laughs> Well, yeah. Wait, so I, I use advantage? Yeah. First, uh, click the toggle advantage, and then switch your Technically, I shouldn't be saying this, because it's it's DM's discretion. Flanking rules. Uh, you definitely miss. Oh. So, whether John should have uh, gave the advantages up to him. Yeah, um, for that one, he, he was distracted, so I'd give him advantage. Okay. But there is uh, nothing... Uh, he doesn't hit him anyway, so either way. Uh, any other thing you wanted to do, Stow, that you think you can do? Sweat. Okay, you sweat because <laughs> I missed. <laughs> so um, it's gonna be Zulkin's turn. You you notice he's really distraught, and he's actually not wanting to fight. He's gonna actually disengage and head towards uh, Kella. Hey. Get out of here! Get out of here! He uses half his action to get on, get on his horse, uh, get off his horse, and then actually he's just checking on Kella now. I'm squinting my eyes. <laughs> he's my more worried about her than anything else. All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, what would you guys like to do with this uh, new? I bonk him in the head. Go for the knockout. Are you gonna try to go for the knockout? Cause he's still he's still fairly ready to fight, but he's just more worried about Kella. I want him not able to fight back. I'm still gonna bonk him on the head or try to. Okay. Uh, roll. Um, let's do. Roll a strength check. that against his... Uh, question though, was Varus rolling death saves? Yes. Not, no. not it's yet. not my turn yet to do uh, it. Not yet. It's more It's more of a more of a Zulkin not being able to do anything. Or ah. not choosing not to do anything. Uh, he definitely does not fall down. He's actually a little agitated, but he's still worried about Kella. He's checking on her. Uh, Varus... I wanted to hit him, but okay. Yo. Yeah, no, no, like, you, you, you pretty much, like... He, he's built like a tank, man. No, not no, not hold him. I want to take him out. Not like he wanted to make an attack roll against. Yeah, him. I don't want to hold yeah. him down. He's still ready to fight. Yeah, he you hit him. He does. He like he's like I don't care. No, like I, I like death kind of hitting, not punch. He wanted kind to deal damage. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. I was like, what, like, what are you talking about? What, what am I doing? I, th I thought you were saying you wanted to knock him out. Well, you kept I'm saying not coming out to... with my halberd. Well, you said you wanted to bonk him on the head. That's yeah. yeah. Normally okay. coincides with knocking them out. Okay, then you're, you'll have to wait till your turn for that one because I thought you were just trying to like take advantage yeah, of that. It, you point. can't just take my turn and just say, "Oh, you want to do?" I'm like, I didn't want to do that. Okay, well, Kella makes a well, no turn. Oh make... yeah, he was gonna make the death save. But yeah, Varus is gonna yeah, make the death save. Not... Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, it's a con save. No, it's just a d20, I lied. Death save and... She's good. Uh, it's a success. Yep, success. So one set. Sweet. Alright. And Kella's gonna make one. Uh, Two. I don't... No, she's unconscious. She doesn't have to make them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Because I didn't, I didn't go for a killing blow or something along those lines. Okay. At least I believe that's how that works. I could be wrong, actually. We can go with that. That's fine. All right, Moteyasu. Now you can do your killing kind of intent. Yeah, if I hit now, nope. You definitely do not hit. Ugh. Wasted roll. Okay. You missed. Yeah, he missed with the uh, twelve. Wow. But he's ready. To, he's back and ready to fight after that swing. All right, uh, uh, Kikaru. What do you want to do? How far can I go up next to Varus? By any chance? You have forty movement because you're on a horse. Yeah. Um, and the horse is moving. It's that's the horse's movement, so you still have your own movement. You d you do need to take half a turn to, or half an action to get off the horse. 
Oh really? Mm -hmm. Is Varus is down, right? Yes, he's yeah. down. He's pretty down. Can I heal him to get back up or no? Yeah, if you can, if you want. Do you have Cure Wounds or Healing Word? He has Healing cure. Word. Then Healing Word you can do at a distance. Yeah. Can I, yeah, can I, uh, well, how far is Healing Word? Can I do it? In your description. It should be in the description of your oh. spell. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh shit. Uh, it is... I think it's, uh, 60 feet or 30 feet? 60 feet. Healing Word is a 60 foot range. Oh, okay. 60 feet? Yeah. So you wanna heal Varus? Yeah, uh, can I just... Oh, can I just stay right there and just say heal? Can I see him? Yeah. Yep. You can scream really loudly, and then... Yeah, I say heal. <laughs> so, you guys, so you guys turn around, and you notice somebody dressed in the guard's outfit, and she's and in a very meek voice, she says... Heal. <laughs> okay, uh, Varus, you heal for six. Sweet. So you're back up. Well, you're prone, but... You're prone, but you're a six. You can play um, I'm awake. <laughs> you're awake now. So he can't be dead dead now, right? Unless he can attack. Do you yeah. notice that What's-Her-Face is laying down right next to you? Yeah. Oh. Well. Uh. Hi. <laughs> Please tell me I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so did we, like, do it or something? <laughs> Just out in the fields? <laughs> did, did you all watch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Alright, least... <laughs> right, David, you go. Okay. Um, does, uh, this guy, the, uh... The leader? The leader? Does he look bloodied? No, not at all. Alright. He, he does seem like he's a little less, like, confident in wanting to fight anymore. But, and you can tell that. But okay. he's still, like... He's even still, at a distance. Even at a distance, you can tell that he really doesn't want to fight anymore, but you guys are still swinging. So okay, he's still, does, like, fighting. Does, uh, can I still see this guy? Sorry. He's a hundred feet away. No, you cannot see, you cannot tell that there's a guy all the way over down there. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll just ready my, my bow. Well, my crossbow, in case he tries to do anything. Okay. And I'll actually start moving into view. Okay. I'll uh, Be over as I, I'm I'm down like around at this point during okay. my turn. Okay. Can I shout to the guards? Uh, help secure this. Okay. You can uh, the guards are gonna start coming out, but it's gonna take uh, another like turn or so for them to actually okay. come out. Alright, how how much running room do I get? I can technically try and make the jump. Okay, you want to try? Yeah. Why not? Action jump. Acrobatics. And, and... you make it just barely. <clears throat> you actually get. You actually... Like I, I like almost fall back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you do that like arms waving and you're on one foot. <laughs> yeah, but, you, you, you but I'm doing it with a crossbow in my hands. <laughs> yeah, you got that. You actually got the crossbow like kind of in your teeth while you're trying to push oh, yeah. back up. Hell yeah, that's metal. So you got. So that's your turn. Yeah, that's my turn. Barnaby, your go. All right. Uh... Hmm. You know what? Um, I'm gonna attempt to talk him down. Okay. I wanna move next to him. What, <clears throat> what would you like to say to him? I say, if you guys come quietly, no one else has to get hurt. He kind of like grunts. He's like. As long as you make sure Kella is fine. We will not kill her. Fine. And then he'll he'll drop his uh he'll drop his scimitar. And uh, and uh, guy. call your guys off. And he'll yeah, he'll he'll scream to the other guy, if any of you are still alive, it's off. And he this guy's gonna make it back. He's also going to drop his crossbow. And he'll just uh, come quietly. So they're both now unarmed. Okay. Oh boy. And that is the end of combat.
Yay! Holy cow. <laughs> Alright guys, so... And we will call that the end of this session. Woo. Started Woo. out strong. Messy well, at the end. Yeah, got a, a very little messy at the end. <laughs> got very wavy. <laughs> a lot of blood spilled. I kept missing. Yeah, even from above a tower. But I mean, well, he's blind. To yeah, be honest, true. I still call this a success on the fact that everyone's we, still alive. <laughs> we're all still alive, and the only somewhat casualty we had was me falling unconscious. Yeah. Like that was, that's still pretty good in my books. <laughs> yeah. I think we did we yeah, did okay. yes. I mean I basically made a bandit chase me around Benny Hill style. Pretty much. I will come up with some kind of form of music for a vic for battle victories, but I don't have one yet. I don't want to be generic and have Final Fantasy. That's just that's just dumb. Fair point. Um, so for the session, the horse oh, I'm on, can we keep it? Can I keep it? We don't know yet. We don't know. Well, we'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. This is how it ends for today's session. Might I say something before before? Yeah. The session to the guy I battled. Sure. Oh boy. Let's take it closer again. You fought valiantly. I respect you. He kind of looks your direction, and he. But please understand that this was all a misunderstanding. <laughs> so he, he kind of looks your direction, and he's just like, "You aren't that bad of a fighter either." But no, in a one v one, I will actually destroy you. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll meet again. He, he's kind of a little confused as now he's kind of worried that you guys are going to just kill him out, right? <laughs> but, yeah, that's how that's going to end. With uh, with two capture, well, three captures. You're going to extract that one? You're, you're going to bring him to uh, Mother Base? <laughs> 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 Throw the Fulton extraction bolt. Yeah, just Luna. Fulton all three. <laughs> I only have one of these Fulton extraction devices left. Yeah, we know. You've been using them to extract bears. Mother base is overrun with bears. That's <laughs> <laughs> great. All right. But yeah. Uh, I hope it's not another E-ranked soldier. <laughs> yeah, definitely a good, a good session, guys. It got as far as I thought you guys would. It took us a little bit extra time. For, yeah, th this yeah. battle was like forever for you guys. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, 20 turns to go through so mm -hmm. yeah and i mean to be fair there were like what so, seven enemies all together and the two worst part is this isn't even incredibly gonna... healthy yeah the they worst were... part is this isn't even going to be the the worst of it all i what... know what's gonna happen as yeah. soon as you said you guys got as far as i expected you to i was like this is not that moment he was talking about <laughs> gonna kill all kill all of us <laughs> don't worry about it but don't yeah. worry. Uh, All of my damage has been self-inflicted this entire time. Pretty much. Uh, same, actually. Yeah. I only All got hit once. Awesome. All right, but uh, everybody, uh, thanks for joining. It was uh, pretty fun. Thank you for hosting. Yeah, thanks yeah. for yeah. Uh, wonderful time actually. coming in. Uh, uh, hello, everyone in chat. I could finally just say stuff to you guys. But thanks for joining in. Thanks for the plenty of follows. I actually really appreciate that. Uh, we do this every Sunday, 7.30 p.m. PST. So if you guys want to come in for the next session, we'll get that set up. Um, other than that, uh, we'll sign off. Uh, have a good night, guys. See you later.